Oh. Hi! Hey everybody, what's going on? What's up, Lord Slav, Big Copter, Satellite Sun? Hi everybody! Happy Friday, and what a happy Friday it is. My god. Another work week just shoved aside. Just pushed just pushed off. Sent out on the ice on, on the ice flow to die. I love it. It's great. So happy to be here. <laughs> At least it's not lemon party yet. That'd be a very different kind of stream. That would not be that would not be a primetime stream, I don't think. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you're all doing well. I'm obviously doing really well. Um, just happy to be done with the week. More, I'm I'm more happy being done with my kids' school stuff than I am with my work. Like work has been stressful enough, but all the school stuff on top is just like. <laughs> I think there's gonna be a lot of lemon party jokes tonight. And I think it's entirely unavoidable. We're just kind of left with it, but... Hi, Smokey. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yes! Um, so, you all knew up front that tonight was Indie Builder Night. Um, I have a ancient Mesopotamian city builder called Nebuchadnezzar that I got direct from the developers that I really wanted to give a try. And I also uh, was gifted Foundation. Pretty cool 3D kingdom builder. Uh, not too long ago. And I want to play both of those for y'all tonight. But, what you might not have known, leading into this, is that this game came out this week. This is a game called Lemon Cake, uh, by Eloise LaRoche, I believe. This, uh, this looks like her third game on Steam. I think we might have linked the last one when it came out over the summer. It was, um, Bunny... It was like a bunny management sim or something. And then she had one other game before that. All of her games just look absolutely adorable. Like, just incredibly cute. And I couldn't resist this one. Not only is it absolutely precious, but like, you run a bakery. You run a bakery and there's cute little animals there too. And it's just like, how could I not? Yeah, that, thank you, Dominic. Thank you. Alchemy Story and Bunny Park. Also, hi hi to you as well. Still claim Goat Sim could have been a very different game. <laughs> Fit right in on modern Steam, wouldn't it? So yeah, we're going to check this out tonight. Um, I don't know how long we're going to spend on it. I believe there's a tutorial, so I at least want to get through the tutorial and then in, into some actual gameplay, and then we can switch over. The other two games, Nebuchadnezzar and Found, uh, Foundation, I've already played those. We're going to try something a little bit different with those. Because I've noticed with like builders and simulations, it's like we basically just look at the tutorial and then... Da -da 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 -da. Around board, dude, thank you so much for subscribing for eight months! Wow, you're almost to your purple gem, if I remember correctly. And a what to you as well. Hey, Cragger, good to see you. I think you should play in French. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that would not end well. Um, yes. I, w I was saying something and it's gone now. <laughs> just It just went away. It went very far away. Yes! I'm trying something new um, with Nebuchadnezzar and found, uh, Foundation. I want to play them first, go through the tutorial, learn how the game is played, and then that way, I think I'll have an easier time showing y'all what it like, how the game is, and more of its features. This one I'm going into blind because I just picked it up today. So, came out yesterday or the day before, I don't remember. But anyway, let's get into it, shall we? I shall play. It shall be a new game. Be a character? I get to be a character? Oh lord. Um, let's see. There's plenty of options here. Okay, I think hairstyle is going to be the big, uh, the big feature here. Nemra and Lodra, hi. Good to see both of you. You're just in time. I am crafting my personage here. That's pretty cute. You know what I want to do? Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Oh, I think I got an idea. Maybe an old man named Dick wouldn't be a lemon bar. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. I want to make, I, I've been watching uh, Sailor Moon with, with my girls. I want to make Sailor Uranus, because she's awesome. She's super cool. 
Um, Ochi Bear. Quite a few options here. No, it's distracting. But no, I'm very focused on this. Wait, it's not even 15 minutes in the stream. Why have you started playing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it was too cute. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to get into it. We got a lot of stuff to do tonight. Three games, but like three three large games to be did. You played Reseteer? I did. I only played it a little bit. Not enough. I was also terrible at it. <laughs> socks yes, socks no. I'm gonna go with socks yes. All right. Um. What's your? Oh god, it went on my head. Oh, it's Dennis. God damn it! You ruined this for me now. We're gonna need some different colors then. Did I say nom nom? Okay, that works. <laughs> that works really well, in fact. Oh, the overalls are cute, but I can't do that. What is Sailor Uranus's name? Was it Harka? I think it's Harka. I think it's hard. Somebody, somebody correct me, otherwise we're rolling with this. Mm. I think I see something. I think I'm gonna need... Yeah, I see something there, so. It is Harka. Okay, great. Cool. My name is Jimbo. Thanks! Thanks, Lord Sloth. Very helpful. <clears throat> Alright. So it's actually Wazda. Press left ship and sprint to the kitchen! Press spacebar to interact with the what? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Worst Elephant? This is a super cute bakery management simulator called Lemon Cake. Uh, it came out like yesterday, and I really wanted to give it a try. So we're gonna be we're gonna be doing this, then Nebuchadnezzar, then um, Foundation. Eek! What are you doing here? My shop has been closed for ages. I don't know if anybody's face. God. What if I just? Lived here for a while. <laughs> you didn't know about the ghost? The bakery ghost. Everybody has one. Exactly, Oink. Ah, oh, the door was unlocked. Well, it's hard to use a key as a ghost or anything from this human world, really. How rude of me. I still haven't welcomed you. I haven't seen a customer in so long, I'm starting to forget my manners. My name is Miss Bonbon. Bon. I ran this bakery my whole life. Now the greenhouse is in ruin, the kitchen is a mess, the store is empty. I can't even bake bread. Tell me, how am I supposed to knead dough without hands? Yeah, she's totally Pac-Man ghost. Oh, I'm sorry, I can get a little carried away when I think about baking. I just wish I could smell the aroma of my favorite recipe one last time. A lemon cake. Roll credits. But I have to admit this is hopeless. I'll never be able to bake again, and my little bakery will remain closed forever. Wait, you think you could bake a lemon cake? Ah, you think baking is so easy? No, 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 it's an art. It would take you ages to perfect my lemon cake recipe. Tell me, what is your name? Hmm, Haruka. Haruka the Apprentice Baker. It does have a nice ring to it. If I teach you a few tricks, you could bake something. But first, let's sweep out the mess of the kitchen. Yes, great. Let's do some manual labor first. Oh! That looks like it has mechanical impact. If you leave messes on the floor, you gotta like tiptoe past it. Good room. Getting oh, I'm leveling up. Thomas Bonbon, you cleaned up the kitchen. Okay. Oh, look how shiny the floor is now. Is this tank controls? Um Yeah, it's Wazda. But, like, um, from, from our position. So A is, like, run to the left, and W is run up. Hey, Hydro! How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. What's up, Endeef? Where does General keep his armies and his sleeve? <laughs> I appreciate the effort. 
Uh, yes, for anyone just coming in, we're playing a super cute bakery manage, uh, merit, ma man. management sim called Lemon Cake. Came out, like, yesterday. After this, we're gonna get to Nebuchadnezzar and, uh, Foundation. Well, there's still a lot of work to do to fix everything. At least we can get started with baking. Now, you're only apprentice baker, so we'll start with something easy. A French baguette. Don't worry, Haruka, I'm sure you'll be able to prepare it. As long as you don't burn it. French baguette's not that hard. All right, pick up the bag of flour. Yeah, so yeah. All right, place your ingredient in the mixing bowl. All right, mix the ingredients together. Place your dough in the oven. Pick up some firewood. Place your log in the oven to get a fire started. Pick up your pastry once it's ready and don't let it burn. Okay. Oh, look at all. Oh. oh, God, that looks amazing. It's perfect. Baguette is really, like, dead simple to make. It's like... It's like in intro to kneading and shaping. Ooh, Haruka, that baguette looks great. Not as good as mine used to be, of course, but it's not bad for your first try. Hieronymus, buddy, dude, thank you so much for subscribing for 28 months. I really appreciate it. That's very generous of you. Good evening to you as well. Hope you're doing well. We're playing lemon cake. You guys with your stupid jokes almost made me say lemon party. Mmm. Wholesome tonight. Being wholesome, chat. Hey, baking? I'm not a baker. I came here for my Herbex YouTube channel. <laughs> and to prove the existence of the afterlife. Ah, I can hear the bell ringing. Wait, does that mean... Customers just walked in the store. I bet they smelled your baking from the street and couldn't resist coming in. Well, we can't leave a customer waiting. We should go and take their order. Talk with the customer to learn their order. Where should I put this? Hi. Let's see. All right. Hi. A new order was placed. Serve the uh, customer a French baguette. Well, you're in luck. Thumbs Bon Bon, you served a page. She's just, she's just nomming that thing. She's just laying directly into it. I can respect that. Great job, Harka. You sold your first pastry. You did well, but don't relax just yet. You still have one last task to do. Clean up the table after a customer's done eating. I know, Haruka, I know, no one likes doing dishes. But if you don't clean a table, no other customer will want to sit down and you'll miss out on a ton of orders. What are you waiting for? Let's get back to work. <clears throat> Remember to need that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, whatever update they pushed on mobile after Twitch broke it. Honestly, it gets too cold in your office to stay for extended periods late at night. Also, the 5G wireless band. Oh, jeez, dude. Hey, Emeralds, go on, buddy. <laughs> Perfect for tonight. It's exactly what the stream was missing. Texas Chainsaw 2 quotes. <laughs> Alright. la di da this default outfit out there. Alright. All clean. Tired of shoveling snow? I bet. I bet. Okay, so you can dash like... So that's your dash meter at the bottom. Little clouds. Yeah, you can dash like halfway across the room. Birdo, buddy. Oh my god, it's so great to see you. It's been so long since I last dropped in. My browser doesn't remember him. Oh. Well, I suppose there's worse things than to be forgotten by Chrome and Firefox. Unsupervised child labor, open flames. <laughs> Never thought I'd see his baker up and running again. Well, it's still far from what he used to be, but I have a feeling you could restore his little bakery to its former glory. Maybe one day you could even bake a lemon cake for me. Da, 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 da. And you get to make pizza. It's a bakery, not a pizzeria. Bacon. Birdo, thank you so much for subscribing for 20 months, dude. I really appreciate that, especially since you haven't been able to make it out. Y'all, y'all made this possible. Um, this, this is not an expensive game. It, it's normally $15. Right now it's like $12.75, I think. 
uh, on launch discount. But still, the the money I get from your subscriptions and bits and everything else goes into playing games like this. Fuck your bakery. Be like, cool if you did. You had a pretty good tomato pie today. Nice. Do you own this bakery? You're just squatting, operating without a license. I think it's just kind of been handed over by the ghost. I think this is sort of a gentle ladies' agreement. Uh, let's not get carried away just yet. For now, you should learn a few simple recipes. Here, I've added another recipe to your active menu. A sweet roll. A bit more complicated to prepare. This requires two ingredients. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, and let's not forget about the marshmallow twist. Candy is the easiest to prepare as it doesn't need to be baked. But it also doesn't sell for quite as much. But keep that in mind. Ooh, I can hear the bell ringing. More customers coming in. Maybe I shouldn't stay around like this. We want to spook our first customers away. Don't worry, I'm not going far. I'll keep the ingredients well stocked to make sure everything is running smoothly. Imagine Slender Man too. Slenderer Man. Slenderest Man. Slender Man 2 back in business. <laughs> Don't forget to open up your bakery so that customers can come in the store and order pastries. Good luck! We named her Haruka because I wanted to make uh, Sailor Uranus. Open the bakery. I want you to be open. The store is now open. Excellent. We got everything. Hi. Can I take your order? No, she has to sit down first. I have a link in feedback. It's a uh, YouTube channel shut off a literal brand new NES game. It looks pretty good. There is, um, there's a, a Game Boy game in, um, being produced right now called Dedis, I think that I'm pretty interested to check out. Good timing too, with the analog pocket coming in a couple months. Now it's sweet bread. The Mexican pastry, not the animal script. There you go, you sold the pastry. Found a YouTube cooking channel, Chef Rush, kinda cool. Is it like, race cooking? Uh, all right, sweet roll. See if we can bust that table real quick. All right, cool, good. She looks just like me. There we go. Here's your sweet roll. What do you want? All right, she wants a marshmallow twist. All right, marshmallow twist is just sugar. I made it. I'm a genius. Eat up. Eat up me hearties, yo ho. Lunch rush is starting soon. Um, I wonder if I should just make a baguette or something. ST the Slender Terrestrial. <laughs> What'd you like? All right. She wants a marshmallow twist too. That's easy enough. Keep forgetting to pick a recipe. I'm like, I'll just shove it in here and make it. It'll be great. Hi. Marshmallows. This game has really great music so far, too. Slenderman and Venom and Maximum Carnage. And no, you can't leave. <laughs> the music in this game is pretty great. Alright. You're already getting so much experience. Pick a recipe I'll add to your recipe book. Sweet. Remember I went to a restaurant on New Year's Eve with a friend and they served us this thing and we tried it. It was really smooth and creamy. We're like, what's this? And they're like, this is sweet bread. So we looked it up. It was cow brains. So we spit, oh my God, dude. That's crazy. I can't stop a matter this is happening or I can't think of a good one. <laughs> chef Andre Rush is the hilariously beefy chef who's cooked at the White Oh, I saw that posted today. Yeah, that dude looks awesome. That dude looks rad. Mm. All right. So I get to learn a new recipe. Sweet pretzel chocolate cookie. I want to do chocolate croissant because 
After I graduated from college and I was just kind of dicking around at home with my uh, living with my parents, I wanted to learn how to bake. And I learned how to make baguettes, super easy. I made a cheddar onion loaf, that was really good. Uh, I made raisin bread, I believe. And then I wanted to make chocolate croissants because I love chocolate croissants and that was a disaster. It was awful. I think I got one edible one out of the whole batch. The rest of them like burned and ruptured and it was terrifying. So yeah. Chocolate croissant yet. Okay, you want you want a that. Oh, I need to clean this place up. You know, I bet you could use a controller for this game too. You know what I'm really liking about this? No resources, really. Like, I don't have to worry about running out of stuff. That makes me happy. Uh, all right. It is this, and that, and this, that. Really need to clean this place up. I just pick this up. No, you gotta put the broom away. Give me that. Give me that. I think I might have missed out on a customer. I need more tables. Damn. <clears throat> Main croissants is scary unless it's Pillsbury, Pillsbury croissants. Yes, very true. Croissants are terrifying. Maybe I am gonna have to make some stuff, uh, some resources. All right, daily report, pastries baked, five, total customer served, eight, perfect orders, four, good orders, four, burned orders, miss orders, daily profits, eight bucks. Daily menu, recipe book. Wish I could bake again, aw. Bake would look awesome. A display counter? Oh, you need a display counter. Ooh. Kitchen counter. Grow cocoa tree and harvest chocolate. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Ooh, a display counter. I'm sure the customers will be happy. I only see Otters waste three hours of his life playing Roblox on stream because everyone has made it very evident. We're all statistic and like watching how. I thought you liked Roblox. I thought you were a fan. Now that you bought it, just place a pastry by the store window and watch as even more hungry customers stroll into the store. If a customer doesn't have the time to sit down and place an order, they'll just pick their favorite pastry from the display counters. Here, prepare a few pastries before lunch rush starts, or else you'll have trouble keeping your display counters well stocked. I honestly don't like seeing Otis suffer and prefer it when he plays good games. Really? Wow. Wow. I appreciate that. I like Roblox for its development aspects, but like most games, that suck. Yeah, baking only one croissant at a time. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, display counter. Outfit upgrade. Add new hats and aprons and change your outfit. Kitchen counter. Actually, I want to do the cocoa tree. Chocolate, my favorite. Don't worry, Haruka. I won't steal any from your cocoa tree. As long as you make good use of it. You'll be able to harvest cocoa for all kinds of tasty recipes. Just be sure to water your tree from time to time or else it won't grow anything. I'm glad that's... I'm, I'm glad it just won't grow anything as opposed to, like, dying. Um... Alright, well, I don't think... Why is this... Bread, cookie, donut, cake, pie, candy, frozen. I think we'll stick with this since we haven't made any, we don't have any chocolate to work with yet. I like watching Ash suffer because the game surprised him or has a lot of pun, uh, puns like Dragon Quest Builders too. <laughs> Robot 64 is Mario 64 and Glover put together. I love it so much because it somehow works surprisingly well and something as weak as Roblox. All right. Do you want to start a new day? Yes. 
Alright, I want... Where's my... My tree? Be watered. Get peace. What is this? Oh, an oven is out of firewood. Okay. Alright, hang on. Hang on, we're gonna do a thing first. Sorry, citrus canker has been seen in another county. We're gonna have to cut down the trees now. Yeah, I wanna make a sweet roll. I'm gonna make a sweet roll, and I wanna put it in the window. <clears throat> Teen sentence on a dead kaiju chest. Yo ho ho, in a barrel of oil. Here we go. Yes, beautiful. Okay, open the bakery. It's morning! I wonder if there's a good PS4 emulator yet because the Switch emulator works surprisingly. Does it? That's rather impressive. I wonder if it's gotten easier to produce emulators for systems as, as they've drawn ever closer to just being normal PCs in a funny box. I keep forgetting to pick the recipe I want. I hope the Switch emulator will work since it gets 20 grand a month on Patreon. Oh my god, how have they not been shut down? How can they possibly get away with that? What's up, Toast? Nom 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 nom. Alright, finish eating. I need to bust this table. There we go. There we go. Hi, what do you want? Uh, okay. Let's make us a sweet roll. There we go. Clean this up. Well, you don't use any of Nintendo's code, they're doing nothing wrong. Ah! Right of firewood. It's like how that PC port Mario 64 is completely in the clear. But didn't... Didn't Nintendo get that taken down or something? Or are they, are they safe now? Did they actually fight it? The clean room port. That's interesting. There you go. You in a second. Hang on. Clean this place up. Emulation's fine, it's the games are the problem. Okay. Alright, we need one of these. Oh god, a plant needs to be watered. Alright, we'll do that while this one's baking, I think. Oh god, yeah, it's all yellow. There we go. Lunch Rush is much gentler in this than in uh, CSD. Yeah, definitely. All right, I want to make another one of these. Right, come on. Time to learn a new recipe. What do we got? Sweet pretzel, chocolate cookie, strawberry donut. I don't have any strawberries though. I'm gonna go with chocolate cookie. All right, let's cook this. Let's take that new order. Oh, my oven's out of firewood. Nuts. Nuts to this. I don't even have any nuts in the game. Okay, so the port's still available. That's good. All right, hang on, sorry. Ah. All right, we need, we need a bunch of baguettes. Right, get in there. Oh, Windows displays are empty again. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you were here first. This game still has you rushing around quite a bit. Cook. 
I think I think we're done for today. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess we have trash this one. I guess we could see if it keeps overnight, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. That would be that would be stretching belief, I think. Daily report. Three perfect orders. You must have to be really fast to get perfect orders. But at least I haven't burned or missed any. Um. All right. What if? I think we can. I think we can use chocolate now. What if we take that off? What is this? Oh, so it kind of has the, the lineup bonuses that CSD did. You guys can't see that very well. Man, there's really no... Uh, uh, where do I go? Wait, hide down. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide down here during this game, okay? It's like a baking ghost mentor or something. Yeah, I guess we just wandered into this ghost's bakery and she and she wanted us to help out or something. Yeah, Oddish was here. There was an Oddish here. He's gone now. All right, uh, average price of your pastry is affordable. Average bake time of your pastry is fast. A vegan option is included in your menu, but they don't have a lot of variety and there aren't a lot of options. So let's see if we can shove a chocolate croissant on there. All right, that... That hurts variety if we do that. There we go, nice. And they're excited about new options, cool. The pearls that were his eyes. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Shop, upgrades. Uh... New counter to set things in the kitchen. I think I'm gonna save this. Nah, let's get this. Kitchen counter, that's a great idea, Harka, because I need another oven is what I really need. Uh, this is CSD, but oh, now you can't see the dialogue. Good God, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be up here. There you go. There you go, you can see, you can see the important part of me, which is my sushi train shirt. Okay, the problem, the real problem here is that I don't, okay, maybe, maybe like this. I don't want to like resize, I don't want to resize my uh, face cam because I have it sized perfectly for my, uh, for Crystalis streams and we're doing that tomorrow. Deal with it. Be able to place down an item on it, uh, be able to place down an item on it when things get busy in the kitchen. Be careful not to leave food on it overnight. Won't stand a messy kitchen. All right, cool. All right, all right. So let us prepare for a brand new day. I was warned not to leave stuff out overnight. It's a present. Hey, okay, messy kitchen this turns into phasmophobia. All right. Can I harvest that? Oh, okay. Okay, so you get, all right, you get your cocoa from there. All right, so that's the counter. Oh my God, you can't see it. All right, I'm gonna do something I never do because this is just getting, like this is aggravating me. There. You don't need face cam for this. Manic, hey, I'm here, you're allowed to play games now. Thank you. You have news, I've successfully determined that my permanent power was not damaged by the water line breakage. I will not have water when I get back, I'll otherwise be mostly okay. Nice. Second oven is 6250, Jesus. I uh, hopefully will just work up to that eventually. One cookie on the display and one on the kitchen counter. Yeah, deal. All right. Um. Yeah, let's make a cookie, actually. I wonder how much cocoa this is gonna make during the day. This kind of reminds me of cooking in um, Harvest Moon. Just keep touching the button. 
Fish most of the comic idea I had that you mentioned the other day. Very proud of it. Nice. Nice. Cookie. Only possible concern I have now is if my computer and or Switch suffered damage from being left in a single degree bulb for days on end. I think that should be okay. I, I feel like that should be okay. All right, I'm gonna make a sweet roll while we're here. Pop that in the oven. And open the shop. All right, let's do this. The computer probably loves this weather. All right, and Mr. Sweet Roll can park over here for a bit. I'm super goddamn tired of the hospital. I bet. I bet. Oh god, is she gonna bogart my cookie? <gasps> Shit. Can I make another one? Uh, I can, but this also needs water. Oh god. No, my oven! Fuck. Damn your eyes. Alright, you get out here. You go over here. Hi. Wants oh, a cookie. I just brought the cookie with me. Oh, me of little faith. You damn cookie. Um. Okay, so the chocolate's available pretty much whenever. That's good. Uh, when I was in the hospital last, I had to have my blood taken every hour. Eventually, nurses learned it's perfectly safe to stick a needle in me while I was asleep. Hi. Um, I'll just give you this one. <laughs> Should have gotten it yourself. It's absolutely not safe to stab me while I sleep. Right, let's make another sweet roll. I think he's after that cookie. Okay, you live here. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, hang on one second. I'm just, I'm really curious if you can use a controller. This really feels like it should be a controller game. But I, I'm thinking maybe not. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It has controller support? Oh, maybe you need to start it with it. <clears throat> My mistake. You have nurses changing up every 12 hours. The doctor is around at least twice a day, so you can get bothered at least four times a day. Okay. Oh, is lunchtime. Hi, right, what do you want? You want a cookie? Okay. Fortunately for you, I can handle that. Yep. We're gonna repass it. And what would you like? You would also like a cookie. Oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Cookies take a while big. All right, we fix that. Yeah, cookie. Eat a cookie. I need to water that tree too. We are gonna be in big trouble. Get. That's boring. 
Hey, Filthmonger, stop dropping flour in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I don't know how. Look, I'm working hard here, okay? I'm trying really hard here. I think we might be done. Uh, are you just done with this? I, I totally understand, dude. Nobody wants to be at the hospital any longer than they absolutely have to be. Gotta be tiresome at this point. I just realized our, our bakery closes at 4 p.m. How'd we do? How'd we did? <clears throat> four perfect, four good, okay. Banker, what's up, RMB? Good to see you. This is super cute so far. If I go to Jean Robert's table just for bread, I'm pretty sure I would. Where's your face? I turned it off, because there's like, there's no good place for me. If I turned it on right now, I'd be covering up this adorable ghost. If I put it on the bottom right, I'd be covering up orders. Top right, I'd be covering up my level and money. Top center, covering up all kinds of stuff. So just forget. I'll be back for Nebuchadnezzar. For, for now, just enjoy disembodied Oddish. Just a tiny photo that covers up the weather. <laughs> all right. Um, the recipe has been on the menu too often recently. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. So... Yeah, this is this is very cook serve delicious then. Um, chocolate croissant, and maybe we'll put the candy back. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We have gluten free options now. So this okay, this is affects your tip. So we get double the tip. Yeah, I'd rather turn it off than be small because I've got it. I've got it sized just right. For, uh, for Crystalla's streams, and that was a big pain in the ass. <laughs> I need I need to get better at OBS, is the main thing. I need to get better at... I, I need to have, like, a bunch of di just com entirely distinct layouts for the different games that I stream. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ, that's really expensive onion. Oven. Could be an onion shape. Oven, you know, there's no recovering from that. Um, firewood upgrade, outfit upgrade, display an additional paste for your store window. That would be cool. That would be cool. I mean, I think I'm gonna need to expand my capabilities like this to, to make the big bucks. So, what do you get after that? Kitchen rugs. That's. A lot. Shouldn't you have scenes or whatever? Yes, yes. What, what I have is, yeah, I have like a couple multi-purpose scenes, but I really need, I need a scene for PC games. I need a scene for like AVS. I need a scene for Switch. I need a scene for normal HD console gaming. Yeah. I could probably use a couple different scenes for if it's better to have the face cam in like the top right or the bottom right or something. Just bought a new mic briefly thought about getting a camera, but nah. I like I I've I mean I've gone from somebody who didn't who wouldn't even watch video let's plays to somebody who prefers face cams for things. And I feel like I can I, I feel like I can interact better if y'all can see me gesticulating and Grimacing and recoiling from things. Perfect size one with game specific scenes, yeah. I mean, at some point I should probably get like an actual overlay made. Let's buy something. Ooh, these are tasty. Okay. All right. Before we open up, clean this filthy place. I have no desire to do face cams at this time. Um, all right, how's our tree? Tree healthy, okay, we're gonna make, oh, wow. All right, chocolate croissant is one of everything. No, no, auto scare cam. Y'all realize I can be back at any moment. Hi, scripting. 
I just want a mic that doesn't stop working if I nudge it. Yeah, that seems pretty important. Yeah, I need to fix my hotkeys too. Because they tend to over overlap with things that are actually used for other things. Look, I'm bad at this, okay? I am I am like bottom tier streamer in terms of technology. Time to learn a new recipe. Sweet pretzel. Egg bent. Do I need chick? Yeah, you need an egg for that. But we're not there yet, so let's go with sweet pretzel. Yeah, it's it's kind of a miracle that I can accomplish anything <laughs> via streaming. Could not find a binding the retro arc doesn't already use. Uh, yeah, that's annoying. I actually I have programmable keys on this keyboard, but I can't get OBS to recognize those. So I need I think I need to program in like a unique key sequence for those that I'm never going to use and aren't going to overlap with anything. I want to make one more chocolate thing. I really want to make one more chocolate thing. I guess we can go ahead and open the bakery. Does the eggs Benedict actually need the egg though? Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just Benedict. And nobody likes Benedict. It could be on the cutting edge of the new cuisine brave new world of eggless benedicts. Lady, it's... Child, it's right here. <laughs> Literally right here. <gasps> no! Oh god. Worst place for a catastrophic flour spill. Bread with hollandaise sauce is still pretty good, I suppose. Lady left a mess. Whee! The sauce on toffee egg easy. You can actually you can you can actually kind of drift with the uh, with the dash in this. It's really funny. Girl, I just made this. Do you not like? All right. Well, I need to make another one then. These are apparently very popular. I wonder if you need assistance in this. Assistance would be really helpful. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Benedict Eggman Robot <laughs> Robotnik. <laughs> you want a chocolate croissant? Of course you do! Man, these folks are in and out of here in no time. Pretty good racket we got going. No, put put it in! Soon there will be lunch, and then what? Might even be able to convince a certain friendly ghost to assist you in the store and serve customers. Yes, that is what I need. I need this ghost to start pulling her damn weight. What do you want? Candy? Came to a fine baking establishment and ordered candy. Throw you out of here. Croissant. Oh, my tree. Yeah, it's a test, Dominic. It's a test to see if any of these people have taste. And she failed. Here, have a seat. Now the window displays are empty. I can't make stuff that fast. Perfect timing. Uh, no chocolate. Uh, can't make anything. All right, we're gonna make some candy. Put it out as a trap. Stop feeding dining customers from the display then. <laughs> He's failed me. All right, this might be the last order of the day we get in. Cookie, okay. I can make your cookie. I'm fine with that. No! Yeah. 
There we go. Alright, yeah, that was the last one. Oh no, you're here too. Oh god, they both want cookies. Well, this is great. Well, this stick looking wig for only a dollar is a small price to pay. Kind of reminds me of Recetier in the way. I think I think it might be the art style that is... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so used to making croissants. Excuse me. My god, this poor woman. Good thing time is literally stopped outside of this uh, cafe. <laughs> You're allowed to like mar uh, marshmallow candy, by the way. I mean, my my not so secret indulgence is uh, candy corn. May amazed, I haven't been run out on a rail for that yet. One time I left four splats in the kitchen, the ghost was mad. <laughs> partly that, partly people coming in, sitting down, walking around, you putting items out. Yeah, it does. It does have a just a, a lot of the same look and feel as rest here. All right, all right. We made a bunch of money. Good. Six perfect orders. Four good orders. All right. Let's. Uh, recipe has been on the menu too often. I think that's our poor chocolate croissant. I think that has to get dumpstered. Uh, I could put the sweet pretzel on. From now. The candy. You want me to kill the candy, too? Didn't I just learn how to make something else? No. Cookie? Help me out here. Now we don't have a lot of variety. What if we... Still no variety. So, okay, that's a 73% tip. That's 88. I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. Did you do the pro CSD strat sir? boost? <laughs> yeah, candy corn. I love candy corn. Um, there is such a thing as really good candy corn if it's made with, like, actual honey. Uh, I can get really, really good candy corn from Sprouts here. Now you're going to get tons of people complaining that you took it off the menu. Oh, the one guy will show up every day two minutes after opening for a beer. <laughs> okay, I think... Yeah, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, shop. $24.93. What we got. I'm... Uh, yeah, I'll save you all from the candy. No, me. Me, I will save. All right, let's see. If I get this, if I get a firewood upgrade, I see animals here, which might get us, which should get us eggs. Strawberry looks like it would lead to grapes, and I can't tell what that is. So I think I'm going to go with the firewood upgrade so we can uh, maybe get to eggs benedict, or is it probably going to be like a million dollars? Ah, some quality firewood. Now you won't have to add firewood in your oven that often. $55 for a chicken. $195 for a cow. <laughs> I don't care about candy corn at all. I said that only so I could segue in my stupid kernel pun. You fell into my trap, you fool. <laughs> There's a kernel of truth in that. <laughs> Love candy corn. They don't sell in the volume I'd like to have. More than a teeny tiny bag, but not two pounds of it. I will eat the two pounds of it. I will eat the two pounds. All right. All right, let's get everything. Oh my god. All right. Let's make one of the new things. And stick that in the window. Let's actually mix it up and shove it in the oven. <laughs> my ears stop shouting. 
I just realized people writing the power in Texas are gonna get rich off this situation. Yeah. Sadly, they always were. Alright. Let's do a chocolate croissant. And then I think I will... I'll make another chocolate croissant for standby. Richard would rightly expect him in Hell World. Hell World. I hope is the people running the power in Texas are going to jail off this situation. I would I would love to believe that, but we haven't seen a whole lot of justice in our world as of late. Um, all right, next goal is chickens. I want chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and open the bakery. Set down over here real quick. Um, let's make another one of these, because we can. Hopefully I can switch between things. What do you want? Handy? God, these people. Kills me. There you go. Andy. Ah! So I guess I'll just carry this around until somebody wants it. <laughs> just stand here like a creeper. Can I clean up a table while holding things? No, I can't. Oh god. Hopefully he wants this. Hopefully he wants this. You want this, don't you? Candy was such a mistake. I don't care if you're enjoying it. You've ruined my whole system here. We haven't finished, so I can clean up after you. Filthy animal. You're just staring judgmentally. She wants candy too! Why? Why only candy? I make so much good stuff. I'm better than this. Good enough, smart enough, doggone it. People like me. Alright, get out. Done with you. Oh, God. Bakery drift. Uh, all right, she wants one of these. I'm gonna make one. Cause I feel like I really shouldn't cannibalize from my, uh, from my windows. Ah, no, cook. Sweet Jesus, cook. All right, yeah, all right, I need to put this out. Cause yeah, people can just pick those up whenever they want. All right, and she wants a chocolate croissant, right? All right eat. All right. Lunch is hell on window displays. Yeah. But yeah, I really, I really need to stop stealing from it because it's it's sales that I can make without even being there. Can't make anything else at the moment. Oh, I can make candy actually. All right, um, cherry, jelly, strawberry, donut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock Eggs Benedict because I can't make any of these other things anyway. All right. I know the window displays are empty. Life is hard. All right, all right. I'm gonna regret bad mouthing candy now. I need a stopgap. She wants candy too. Ingrates. Just in case. This is a really odd bakery, you just make everything to order. I think I think 
because I have such such low capacity to make things, I have one take. She wants candy too. Oh, the store's closing. All right, so I can actually just give her this so I don't waste anything. There you go. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it's just bakery goes. The cook who I knew looked out of the kitchen pass and said, Who's ordering a bandit at 6 a.m.? I see this is gonna be. <laughs> ah, we didn't make that much money. We're gonna have to save up for a chicken. It's gonna be a while. Did pretty good. Pretty good. It's because people were buying so much candy. Can I please take the candy off the menu? All right. Chicken, think... chicken, chicken, chicken. Yep. All right, candy is out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Um, baguette maybe and cookie. I actually need a, like a new kind of candy. So that's a 25% tip. What if I just put this? Okay, that's no tip. That is none tip. So I guess candy's here to stay. I mean, candy is nice. It's just, Levians, you can't appreciate all the delicacies you create. If you can't appreciate the things I bake, you should leave, you should, oh, oh, oh. Not needing the oven is huge. Yeah, I just I just want more kinds of candy. Because this thing, you know, it's it's menu rot, like in CSD. <clears throat> so yeah. Eggs Benedict. Gotta get to Eggs Benedict. 5525. If we ever re no. It's gonna take at least two more days. Um if I level up again, I could get strawberries. Make the pages look at the food that's great. You see people wanting to shove sweets in their mouth on lunch. When I lived in Oakland, there was a bakery down the street called Leaven and Earth. Oh, gross. That's disgusting. That disgusts me. But they're amazing, so I forgave them. Never. I hate it. I hate everything about it. To get cows, you can make beef jerky dipped in chocolate. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, actually, we'll make we'll make all the complicated stuff and set it out. I have a standing order for chocolate chip chala. Oh, so good. Sounds good. Uh, we'll do a sweet pretzel. By the way, in case you couldn't tell, I really like this. I like this a whole lot. It's fun, it's simple, it's adorable. It makes me very happy on many levels. And it's fast paced. Like, I feel like that's a really big deal with games like this. Like, Cook, Serve, Delicious 1 and 2, I kind of burned out on because they would just start to crawl after a while. Like, Cook, Serve, Delicious 1, it's the star grind. Cook, Serve, Delicious 2, it's just trying to learn how to come to grips with everything. Cook, Serve, Delicious 3 was like perfect pacing for me. Because it was insane and hectic and also based around missions. So. So this is good. Days are short. It doesn't take that long to make anything. See, fin finally finished a short hike with all 22 feathers. She just ordered the vinyl soundtrack off Bandcamp. I, I loved a short hike so much. Would like to short hike more of the visuals weren't, I guess, blur. I know what you mean. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like, oh my God. Candy is gonna ruin me. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen while you're noshing. 
Yeah, short hike is all is all chunky squiggly pixels. I can understand not not liking that style so much. Oh, you can change the size of the pixels now. That's cool. That's unexpected. Pretzel. Okay, good. You want real food. Right, I have to remember I have a cookie in reserve. I can throw out in the display cases. Can you get a read before I go? I'd like to announce today's sponsor, Slenderman 4, the room. <laughs> All right, Em, thanks for coming out, buddy. It's great to see you. It's got icing on it. That pretzel is not real food. You take that back. More food than a marshmallow twist. Curious how hard I died in the Quick Serve Delicious 3 timeline? Oh, come on. Okay, I was about to say. I was going to get real mad at that girl. Fucking window browsing in a bakery. I'll end you. Uh, my chocolate. Be healthy. Hi. Cookie. All right. Actually, have you ever been to a bit? I know. Shut up. It's fine. Look, I'm on a schedule here, okay? I can't afford to have these people wasting my time. Candy. And this game in particular, it feels really good when stuff just kind of aligns. And like you make the right stuff at the right time. Like, it's super gratifying in this, when you, like, zip outside just as somebody's si sitting down to order, or just as they're finishing a meal. You wanna see? I know the window displays are empty, put that broom back! Make some candy real quick for the window. Oh yeah, I just walked out with my cookie. Pretzel. Oh, blast has got another content update. Anyone check that out? Yeah, I want to. I would really, really like to. And we need a cookie, okay. Blasphemous is the literal opposite of this. How true. How very true. All right, there you go. All right, we need cookie. Yes, Blasphemous is very much the anti-lemon cake. You know what the icing on the cake is? You don't even know what you're missing. I clear you to be absolutely glazed over. I cannot believe I managed to say all of that out loud without throwing up. Thanks, Manic. Hey, right. eat and get out. Punish the nurse's manic. <clears throat> right, I want to get, I want to get another recipe unlocked, like eggs Benedict or something, and then like run a day with it, and then we'll, I think we'll switch over to Nebuchadnezzar, because I think I see how this this game is going, and I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, I think we'll just leave the menu like this for now. We could switch the cookie out for croissants. No, that's worse. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough stuff unlocked to make a really interesting uh, menu. All right, thirty-seven. We're getting there. We have enough problems. The snore's so loud to see that something was wrong there. All right, um, let's go ahead and make a sweet pretzel.
What are a tree? Make chocolate cookie. Way to read all that out loud, you're one tough cookie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. His eyes glazed over that punishing paragraph. <laughs> It's like, it's like living inside of Dragon Quest dialogue when I'm talking with y'all. It really is. Hello, degenerates in your food fetish game. What's up, Fury Fighter? All right. Put this cookie out. They're all jelly of your pun power. Ugh. 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 Let's open up. Ah, no. Pun hate is mostly performative. I, I very much assure you it is not. Puns are the absolute lowest form of comedy. Ah. Nope. up sweet cakes. Need chat's help for something unimportant but oddly specific. Hmm. We like being oddly specific here. How about prop comedy puns? That that I can accept. I I have I have a regrettable but undeniable weakness for prop comedy. I used to love Gallagher when I was a kid. Ah buy my expensive stuff. Jesus Christ, you're killing me here. New Crusader like character in Bloodborne. I need a short title that isn't Lady for my character. My brain failed. Um. Hmm. Dame. Dame is a good one. Yeah, because the other ones are like Duchess or Countess or. <laughs> Keep that sort of thing to yourself. Look, chat, I cannot tell a lie. We've all done things in our past that we regret, and it's important that we own up to them. Helps us become stronger people. Diva. Diva's a good one. All right, he's going for it. Going for it. I'm gonna make another cookie. Planning ahead here. We get to the table, hang on. Deploy the cookie! Ma'am. There we go. Pretzel. All right, cookie ready for deployment. All right. Vidam? Ah, out of firewood. No, disaster. All right, what do you want? Also pretzel, okay. Hmm, all right. Gallagher shows and dolphin shows a fair bit in common, specifically I ruined the first five rows by some kind of plastic sheet to protect them from the splash. All right, cookie gone, cookie destroyed. Right, get in there. No, the windows and blues are empty. I need to get this cookie out there. Went to see Gallagher's show with a friend, you enjoyed it. I think you ended up being shitty. <laughs> oh well. Gallagher, your friend. I know, I know Gallagher got, like during the height of his popularity, um, he got bogged down in like a legal dispute with his twin brother, whom he used in some of his shows, but he started like billing himself as the real Gallagher or something to that effect. There's a new Gallagher now. And you want candy. Okay, candy I can handle. I don't have to bake you. There is, there is an advantage to that. Kid, just buy the cookie. I know you want the cookie. Buy the cookie. 
just buy the cookie. Thank you. See, wasn't that hard. Didn't even know there was more than one. Yeah, one of the last specials he did on TV, um, he he used his twin brother in a very obvious capacity. I says all of Carrot Top's performance. Okay, in stark opposition to Gallagher, I could not stand Carrot Top. Like I I could I just could not deal with Carrot Top. I was not okay with Carrot Top. Good job today, Haruka. Um, all right, can I afford chickens? <gasps> I'm like a dollar short for chickens. All right, we have to play through at least two more days of this. All right, what I'm gonna do instead. Nah, no, nah, I don't need to do that. I can unlock them both at the same time. All right. All right, let's do this. <laughs> More like carrot stop. Yeah, carrot carrot top got buff, terrifyingly buff. Carrot top. It was steroids causes muscles to have that uh, roid look to it. So, once something is cooked, it gets like two meters. There's like, there's like, there's like the, the okay threshold. There's an orange threshold and there's a red threshold. I wonder if like orange is warning and red is burned. Or maybe orange is like, it'll be lower quality and red is like total loss. Wow, I learned a new recipe from that. Um, oh, damn. I'm gonna go with strawberry donut. Uh, maybe I should have gone for the chocolate covered strawberry actually. That one was probably candy. Ah, oh, that's what I should have done. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so bad at baking. Yeah, this isn't our bakery. It's, uh, it belongs to a ghost. We're just kind of squatting. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. What's up, Hobbs? Obsol, dude, it's so good to see you. How have you been? Yeah, this is super cute. Yeah, I've been enjoying this immensely. If I didn't have other games that like I promised to get to tonight, I'd probably just play this all night. It feels like it would make a great um, chill night game. It does tell you when you hover over it. Yeah, I just, I wasn't thinking hard enough about it, unfortunately. Yeah, nice gentle grind. I think that's a good way to describe it. You're actually a prisoner here and the ghost is your warden. All right, customer incoming. All right. Drift ourselves in here. Uh, candy. I need candy. Yeah, some candy. All right. All right, finishing, you can get the hell out. Thank you. Same goes for you. All right. Hi. How can I help you? Um, I'll just give you this cookie. Or it goes bad. Just stare at the people while they eat. <laughs> this is why. This is why I never go to restaurants anymore. Can't be trusted. pretzel. Damn you. I have better taste than that. How dare you order the things I put on my menu. Hmm. 
I'll go ahead and make another one. Andy. You forgot the cookie? I didn't forget the cookie. Oh no, it's out of firewood. Okay. At the sweet lemon parties, I mean cakes. That joke will simply never get old. Y'all y'all won't allow it. You will not allow it to get old. That, that joke is immortal. Oh god, I think I grabbed the wrong cookie. Hey, you! Here, buy this. Wait, don't go anywhere. Buy this. I insist. And <laughs> I feel old. The reference is like 20 years old. Yeah, at this point. Uh... Almost old enough to vote. <laughs> I think is the important part. Hi. Oh, you want candy too? Uh, let me serve this first. Actually, I have made a customer ordered a pretzel. He got himself in a twist. <laughs> Second stream in a row with lemon party references. Like we obviously have a type, okay. Um, let's see, maybe I can move a few more candies. Here, you like candy? Speaking of old references, seems all your base had his 20th anniversary recently. Jesus. <clears throat> what would you like? A pretzel. Feels like we did pretty good today. You always get that one person who walks in and it closes. Apparently, Zero Wing is it is yeah. I've played Zero Wing before. It's um, it's all right. It's um, yeah. It, it's right in there as one of those kind of no name uh, '90s shmups. Nothing particularly distinct about. It. I think you have like three different weapons that you can actively switch between. <laughs> Where is the beef? I scream into the night sky. Avoid the noise. Oh my god, I have something to show you guys that I forgot to show you earlier. Uh, I'll show you when I'm done with this game, but for now. But for now. Chicken. Cluck, cluck. Did you hear? The chickens are back. We'll be able to gather fresh eggs to use the recipes again. You have to make sure the chickens are clean and comfy or else they won't produce anything. Make sure you brush them regularly and there shouldn't be any issues. Okay, let's go say hi to them now. Uh, can I also... I can can also afford my strawberry plant. Cool, so now, all right, we can dumpster all this shit. Um, all right, eggs benedict, go. Strawberry donut, go. Um, inescapable candy, go. <laughs> all right, much better. This is gonna get real complicated, yeah, I think. I, I can I can see this approaching like cook serve delicious one levels of complexity because I mean it's, it's basically got the the same like menu buffs and uh, effects like stuff stuff suffers from menu rot it gives you bonuses for including new recipes gluten free options vegan options and I can unlock new slots for stuff on my menu so yeah. I think it's pretty, there, there's a definite cook, serve, delicious um, inspiration here, but it's also not nearly as, as stressful. I can imagine a cooking factorial. Isn't there, I think there's a game called Automat, isn't there? There's a game called Automat where you build automated restaurants, I think. Art feels kind of similar to Ian McConville. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that, but I think you have a point. All right, let's play through one more day. And then I think we'll move on to uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Automat was free on Twitch a while ago. Uh, oh, Automat Chef. Okay. Hard, hard to keep all of these straight, I have to, I have to be honest. All right. Chicken. 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 
Oh my god, your chickens get filthy and you have to brush them off. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, I guess we'll do the strawberry donut first. I picked the strawberry donut. Oh, the egg is in here! Oh my god. The egg is delivered right to your door. I don't know why, but I bounced off of a Thomas Chef while liking most games in that style. Huh. There's also a noodle game about making machines and making... I think I might have played the demo for that. I think? Unless I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, it's like it's like some kind of like cyberpunk ramen manufacturing game or something. Ghost reminds me of that one really cutesy uh, $5 game where you haunt house. Yeah, haunt the house. Which is also a really good game. I will go to bat for haunt the house any day of the week. It is called Neon no Noodles, isn't it? <laughs> That's so funny. Neon Noodle? When you make infinite hyperbolic pizza, I can't, I can't handle infinite pizza. It makes me nauseous. Alright, um... Egg Benedict takes a while to make, so I'm gonna make one of those. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and open. Yeah, Haunt the House is rad. It, it's not particularly hard or deep or even big, but it like I, I liked it enough to 100% it. To just do like literally everything in it. What do these chickens do to make themselves so filthy? Jesus. Been messing with the idea of making a simple conveyor belt game. Maybe I'll do the bakery thing. You, you absolutely should. I think that'd be rad. All right. Um. All right. Let me grab a strawberry. Whee. Fast and the Furious bakery drift in here. So I can see on the order meter down there. I guess blue is perfect. Green is acceptable. So we'll, we'll need to go replace that. I'll make another one first. Oh. They do chicken parties whenever you're off screen. Bastards. They never invite me either. Here they. You have. Oh! You're in luck. I just popped one in the oven. Fil fucking filthy ass party chickens. All right, let's make another do nut. Do you plan on playing the triangle strategy demo? Um, I do. I have it installed. Uh, I I wasn't planning on streaming it just because I can't find a good time to do it. Our schedules kind of already chock a block as is. All right, eggs Benedict. <gasps> no, what a terrible time. Okay. All right, I hate to do this. I hate to do this, but... I don't have much of an option there. And I already have something to replace it with. Here, buy that. Uh, let's make another Eggs Benedict. Oh, my chickens need cleaning. I need to mop my chickens, damn it. All right. You're in luck. I just put one of those in the oven. Been playing so much Black Flag. Asking because if you like Final Fantasy Tactics, you'll probably like it. Gives you a lot more camera control. It, it's one of two games that really interested me from the Nintendo Direct. Um, that and the Mario Golf game both look really fun to me. I may end up getting that Mario Golf game. So if anybody else is planning on getting it, we can go golfing together. Oh my god, okay. Awesome fleet full of mana wars makes me so much filthy money. Nice. Right, let's make a marshmallow twist. The display. I know, I know, I know about the tables. Uh, running bakery is hard. 
Playing a game Mario Golf, we should definitely do a multiplayer night of that. I would love to do that, yeah. Oh, you, right, you don't put these, an idiot. Still, still gonna believe uh, Diablo 2 is getting a Switch port. Oh, she wants a donut, okay. Here. Yeah, I think a lot of people are excited for that. It looks good, too. It looks good. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to go back to Diablo 2 when I still haven't spent as much time as I want with, like, Path of Exile and even Titan Quest. But I certainly understand a lot of people being really excited for that. Um, let's go ahead and mix you up. Yeah. Dumb will probably buy Diablo 2 Remaster play Necromancer again. I love playing Barbarian in that one. Absolutely loved it. Oh my... Filthy fucking chickens, man. Won't touch uh, Diablo 2 with that Eastern Sun. I've heard a lot of people talk about Eastern Sun, and it seems like the people that get on Eastern Sun just, like, stick with it forever. Like, it kind of ruins the base game for them. I really should play Grim Dawn for more than 30 minutes sometime. I, like, I've beaten the base game of Grim Dawn, but I've never gone through the different difficulties, and I bought all the expansion stuff and never played any of it. I don't feel bad about that, because I really wanted to support Crate, because I, I love those guys. But man, I really, yeah. I want to I want to spend some quality time with uh, with Grim Dawn. I don't know when I'm gonna find that time. That's you in Path of Exile. Path of Exile too. I'd kind of like to get into. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know when or when or where I would have the time to do that. Absolutely stoked about the Famicom Mystery Club games. Those look rad. Yeah, for anybody interested in in uh, like visual novel style mysteries, those look pretty good. Interesting kind of Mario Golf, but then they showed a clip of a golf ball bouncing off the flag. It fills you with rage. <laughs> I can't count how many times I've had chippings from the fairway close to the green get fucked up by the flag not being removed. Aww. Oh. Alright. Did pretty good. Um. So let's see. Actually, I don't think... I don't think we're suffering from menu rot yet, are we? Oh yeah, just... The candy's just kind of stuck there. Like, I think I could take it off. Put a cookie on? Eh, that works, I guess. We don't get many uh, bonuses there in shop. Yeah, the kitchen ghost is adorable. Kitchen kitchen ghost is our is our new best friend. All right, I think I think I'll just uh, I can get an additional pastry display. Let's do that. <gasps> is that coffee? Holy shit! You can get coffee machines. Sweet. Honey whiskey is nice. All right. So yeah, we will we will stop here. This is great though. This is super fun. And this game. Hey, guess what? Back, motherfuckers. Um, this game is like 1275 right now. Uh, the creator, uh, Eloise LaRoche, this is her third game. This is like her third game in a year. Like, I'm seriously impressed at the rate she's cranking these out. She had, she put out Bunny Park, which I think we, lift, we linked in Discord um, back over the summer. And then her first game was God. It's, it keeps going right out of my head. But yeah, this one, this one is definitely worth it. I'm I'm enjoying this immensely. So hopefully, I can stick with it. I'm having a real hard time sticking with games after I finish streaming them. Like I've been wanting to go back and play more Room Four, but I just haven't had the time. <clears throat> They're murder mysteries, and who doesn't love solving murders? I like there's one straight murder mystery, one spooky one. I did see what happened to Metallica on Twitch. Talk about karma. All right. So that was Lemon Cake. Hello, Mr. Scully Man. Isn't the art fantastic? Like, everything about that game is just, like, peak feel-good. All right. Next up, folks. A game called Nebuchadnezzar. Um, and I started playing this one already. So I would have an easier time showing you what you can do in this game. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
did they get what happened? Did they get destroyed? No, they were doing uh they're doing a concert on Twitch Gaming. Um and Twitch Gaming had to cut away and play some like 8-bit remix or something because they would have gotten DCMA'd for showing them. <laughs> What's up, Kruger? I was looking forward to this, haven't bought it yet because I've heard it's kind of sparse right now. So yes, um, I don't believe they've launched it in early access, but they are planning on patching in more content to it. So right now, yeah, there's no scenarios, for example. Right now there is the campaign, like the Nebuchadnezzar uh, campaign. This campaign will lead you through the whole history of ancient Mesopotamia and all that civilization's milestones, from, from initial settlement to the fall of Babylon. Experience, it's got really good music too. Uh, experience the story of one of the first civilizations, the civilization of imposing cities and grand monuments. All right, so the campaign that's in the game right now has five missions in it. Or no, no it doesn't, it has more. It has like 10 or 12, but um, the version I was playing before had all of them unlocked. Now I'm on this one. So I've already done the first four missions. They take you through kind of the basics of how this works. So we're going to skip ahead to the Jemdet Nasser period. Um, so we're going to want a population of 3,100, plenty of money, plenty of prestige, and then 32 standard villas. And they let you choose between easy and normal difficulties, where easy they just give you a bonus on, uh, on, certain, on certain costs. I've been playing normal on everything. If anyone hasn't heard, there's a great deal on Steam for Guilty Gear. Yes! Yeah. I mean, a lot of the... I think all of the previous Guilty Gears are just like two or three bucks each. Um, with the... With the, uh... Exception of, uh... Exard, I think, is like five or six bucks. Which is still a really good, uh... Really good deal. Alright. Are we actually in the right place? Good. All right, as one, of the, as one of the main kings of Jemdet Nasser, a city founded over a thousand years ago, your task will be to continue developing the city and Sumerian culture as a whole. Welcome back. This mission will, sad, will sadly be the last one I'll accompany you on. Uh, be, be sure to pay attention as the last mechanics I'll show you are very important. These cover social classes, pollution and appeal, prestige and trade at least. Again. You might have noticed the new icon has appeared in the unemployment panel. That's because your city can now accommodate people from a higher social class. That would be this panel up here. This shows our peasants um, and their unemployment level. Now we have townsfolk. Each social class is own type of house, and each slot requires workers from a specific class. You find the required class on the slot card right next to the number of workers. Not only do people from higher social classes have different requirements for goods, they also have greater requirements regarding the environment they live in. Hence, you'll need to consider two new environmental attributes. These are pollution and appeal. Current values and requirements are available in the left part of the house window. Pollution is generated by industrial buildings, while appeal is generated by decoration buildings. If you get a quick overview, you can do two new layers on the upper panel. Show pollution, show appeal. Show nothing. Prestige is another important uh, mechanic. Open the advisor tab. Prestige indicates how important you can't say that. Prestige indicates how important your city is. It helps you build relations with other cities and also helps you maintain them. Prestige is determined by several factors. The number of inhabitants in your city and the level of their houses, completed monuments, volume of trade with other cities. A detailed overview of your current prestige is available in the advisor under prestige tab. And last most important mechanic is trade. Open this. Trade is important for two reasons. First, it's the only way to make the money you need to expand your city. Second, it's the only way to obtain res resources that don't naturally occur in Mesopotamia. They should be a magnifying glass so you can read the fucking text in this game. It's, for, for where I'm sitting in relation to my monitor, it's big enough for me. I can check and see if the UI scales. I'm guessing it probably doesn't though. The new Mortal Kombat movie looks incredibly dumb and not in a fun way. I mentioned the other night, I think it looks good, but it doesn't look fun. Whereas the old movies didn't necessarily look good, but they were definitely fun. Um, start training, you'll need to initiate contact with another city. Cities are, always require some goods in the form of a gift to initiate contact. Start training immediately after you initiate contact. Simply build a port and specify goods you want to import. 
In building port, don't forget your rotated building using the arc key. That's really everything, our last meeting. It was nice to meet you, and I hope my advice has helped you grasp the basics of Nebuchadnezzar. Enjoy the rest of the game, don't forget you can always get help in the help tab of the advisor. Okay, so, um, first of all, this button, settings, display. Yeah, apparently it doesn't have uh, display scaling. So, yeah, sorry. Give me an inter interface for ants here. All right, so. This this is the area that we have to work with. It, it hasn't been particularly big maps so far. So, to begin with, we are going to need... So, these are all your building tools down here. Um, I'm going to need... All right, we'll start with a crop farm. So stuff like crop farms have two outlines. The green outline is where you can place their fields. It's like Anno. Um, any kind of farming building needs, needs to have um, fields laid down around it. And the fields dictate how many people can work at it. And then the blue outline is, I believe, how far they will transport goods to something like a warehouse or a market. So I'm going to build this here. Okay, obviously it needs road access. So we'll run, run a road right up to you like that. All right, so this farm can support two workers. Each worker can uh, manage 18 fields and then one hauler. So to place down the fields, you click this button, you pick what you wanna put down, wheat or dates. We want wheat up front. Um, and then we fill it in. Fifteen more. There we go. All right, so now they have something to do. So if we're going to make wheat, we're also going to need to turn it into bread using bakeries. And I believe each farm can support two bakeries. We'll also need a warehouse to keep all this stuff. So we'll put here. And then we're gonna need, let's see, I don't wanna do this. Go from here. All right, so we're gonna want a market. Market's gonna need to be close enough to the warehouse to receive goods. We'll build some houses all around it, and I do mean all around it. That should be good enough for start. <clears throat> all right, now the interesting part. So. I'll go ahead and unpause this so people can start moving in. So we are going to need a seller of bread. Now the sellers, all right, we got our first settlers, of course. Now the sellers, you have to pack like the old Caesar games. So we're going to lay out uh, some, some checkpoints for her, and this will cover the whole neighborhood that we have right now. So once, once she starts getting bread in, she'll run them around the neighborhood and start supplying them. Uh, we're also going to need a livestock farm. And livestock, we're just gonna be a decent place for livestock. Maybe over here for now. Some roads up in there. I may need another 
So ironically, that one doesn't reach. All right, I'll put another warehouse over here. And then you also have uh, the Caravan Sarai, which can move goods. So let's see, they can pick, okay, so this guy can pick up milk from here and move it to here. But we have to tell him to do that. Um, so let's see. So this is, I believe that's you can take milk out of here, and this one is you can deliver milk set to green. I feel like Die Hard held on until the fourth one. The only Die I remember Die Hard one and three really well, and I I, I love both of those. Um, Die Hard two I, I have very dim recollections of. So, all right, so this shows you what goods your people need to level up their house. So right now they don't need anything. Um, if we can supply them with sufficient bread and milk, it'll, level, it'll go up to the next level, and then after that we're going to need to supply them with pottery and water. Now one thing we can and probably should do, and this is pretty cool, uh, we can do irrigation, which I think we're going to need to do to help out these fields over here. So I'm going to run irrigation channels all the way from there. And then we'll put an irrigation pump here. And we'll need multiple, because the this only pumps up out enough water to fill it up to here. So I'll add some more on these sides and link them together. And you can see how the land turns green once you irrigate it. This is some old school aesthetic, like they went all in on it. They really did. They really did. I'm, I'm impressed with uh, how detailed they went. <clears throat> so this farm should be producing a lot more milk now. Oh, actually, I didn't put down enough fields. I'm gonna put down like four more. There we go. No wonder we're, people weren't getting enough milk. Very nostalgic. Yeah, as soon as as soon as they start explaining the thing about the markets and actually sending people around, oh, I'm not distributing my milk. I totally forgot. Um, yeah, as soon as they had me doing that, I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is just like, uh, this is like Old Caesar. Looks keen, I'm wondering if maybe I should play Age of Empires first. <laughs> very different games. They're very different games. Die Hard is another series of show died after movie one, but then we wouldn't have gotten Die Hard 3. I love Die Hard 3, man. All right, so you can see some of these houses have now leveled up. They have sufficient amounts of bread and milk. Um, so now we can start working on the other resources. Hey, Echo Far, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. So first of all, let's do the easy one. Um, let's do, where are you? Let's do a well. Um, The question is, where do I cram this? I think let's go ahead and put this here. And then same thing, we'll send someone out supplying water to everyone. <clears throat> How dare you not have the same taste in movies as other people I know, right? And then we also need to get started on um, ceramics. So we need to build a clay mine, and I think we'll do that over here, because we're not really using this warehouse for too much. Uh, oh, it's 
rocky. Terrain's rocky over here. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. All right, we'll put this here. And we'll do... I think you can do a pair of ceramics workshops for mine. And then we'll add another caravanserai to pick up pottery from here and bring it here so the market can access it. Confirm that, and we'll make sure the pottery is marked for export here and import here. <clears throat> Bumblebee was pretty great though and not a bit. Oh, I didn't realize it wasn't a Michael Bay movie. That just, that just send, sends my interest in it just through the roof. That's very exciting to hear. Uh, you know what I'd actually like to do? I'd actually like to spread some of this irrigation around. Can I get another pump? I think I'm gonna have to do this. There we go, that's filled in. I actually kind of like to... It's nicer. You can also run roads over these irrigation canals, so don't worry about them cutting off your access to anything. Your friend who's a huge Monster Hunter fan said he actually liked the Monster Hunter movies? That's a surprise. All right, how are we doing? All right, pottery is on the way. We may need, we may need to supply more, but I wanna see if I can get these houses upgraded um, before. Oh, I need more people. I have totally been ignoring the fact that we need more people to actually run everything. All right. All right, so one of the nice things about this game is you can't permanently screw yourself. As, as near as I can tell, there are, no, there are no failure spirals in this. If people leave the city, that just means you've got an imbalance of, uh, of resources. And it just, it means you need to be providing more or, or reworking how you're providing them. So now that we've done this, we need to redo their, uh, yeah, people are coming back. It's, it's, it's a very simple system. We need to redo their route. So I think we can do like, this is not ideal, but I'm gonna go with that. All right, and then your route, kind of do the same thing. Gotta get this last house here. Oh, and we need somebody supplying pottery. I, this is this is the thing I always forget about this game. Is you have to you you have to tell them to supply stuff. Oh wait, I want that. I want you here, and then here, and then here, and then here. All right, let's see what happens. We run Oddish thing. They made a tabletop game out of the movie Alligator. All right, so some of these houses are downgrading because they're not getting enough resources, in this case, milk. So what we will do is we will further irrigate this area out here. Hopefully like really irrigate it. I'm gonna need... All right, this is gonna get a little excessive, I think. But... I can only get one pump in there. I think putting one there is gonna help too much. I'm not I'm not good at making pretty irrigation systems yet, I'm gonna tell you that much. There we go. Okay. So we'll build a new livestock farm. I think this will work. Road in to do up all the fields. There we go, perfect. People are leaving the city again. What are they missing? What are they missing out on? No bread, no milk. Alright, so we need we need to produce more stuff. That's normal for games like this. Uh, I wanna do like I'm 
I'm gonna do like here, so I can hopefully run the road right right through the middle of it. Lose all those nice trees, but I'm gonna lose them anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna put up fields. There we go. All right. And then we can build some more bakeries off of that. I'm just gonna do a cube of bakeries over here. Oh, I need to adjust the, uh, the water path. Yeah, your path doesn't make a whole lot of sense anymore, does it? All right, so we'll have you go down here. And then like, oh, I guess. Not perfect, but I don't think it needs to be, necessarily. Arkham, Arkham Horror requires a floor. <laughs> All right, ah, here we go. All right, so we've here we've got a standard house fully built, fully built up. Um, but we need, we need more people. Unemployment is still, I'm, I'm still not keeping up. You're supposed to make giant cities in this. Like, I will just, I will tell you that straight up. I, I learned from the tutorial you're just supposed to make, like, just giant, huge-ass cities in this game. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and we'll worry about the resources later. Alright, I don't think that market can reach everywhere anymore, so I'm going to build a new one. Standard market has a much larger reach. I see. All right. Hmm. Okay, so what we need to do, this, this place is filling up with milk and it doesn't need to. So I'm gonna lower the threshold on how much milk it can store so it doesn't import too much. And I'm also gonna set bread to export from, from here and move it over here so that it can supply this market. Uh, and so we're gonna need another one of these. Moving bread from here to here. And okay. So currently, these are supplying these neighborhoods. So I actually wanna redo this. So I want to cover this area, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Also, I think I have to get rid of this house. Because I'm never going to be able to supply with anything. So it would be gone. I said a thing and Twitch decided to release me from buffer hell. Thanks, Twitch. All right, so did that actually go through? OK, that went through. So that's what the small market is going to supply. So let me change these other ones over to that. Miss Real Board Games. Tabletop Simulator just isn't the same. Yeah, I do too. I, I had a really good thing going at work. Um, I used to play Carcassonne and um, Dominion, I think with one of my coworkers during lunches and it was so nice. I really miss doing that now. Um, the water situation. I think we actually want two separate water people going around. So let's get you up there and then here. And then here. And that'll be good for one. And the other one can go here, here, and here. And that should have everybody covered, I think. Amazing kind of reminds me of the time I walked into a gaming store on the west side of town and walked out with a brand new copy of Cathedral, which had been out of print for ages at the time. All right, 
All right, now, now I have to set up this market. Shit, it's the wrong kind of market. Okay, that's fine. We can smash it and build the right kind of market. We'll build another poor people market. I haven't I haven't used rich markets before, so this is this is new to me. All right, so we're gonna need to hit here and here, and that I think will do it. This one. This one. One thing I hope they add, they add to the game is kind of a simpli simplification of this, because I like this. I like setting these paths, but having to redo it every time you change something about your city is rough. It's uh, not ideal. I think we're also probably going to need, well, <clears throat> I need to fix my unemployment problem first. This girl has crushing on obliterated me and bang. <laughs> that sounds really funny out of context. Really, really funny. I may not be producing enough stuff for this. Some additional irrigation going. Uh, and then... I think I'm gonna have to build a new warehouse up here. Jeez, it doesn't reach. I can add one more caravanserai. And he can move wheat. Here to here. Um, and then out of there. And into here. So in case you hadn't noticed, this this game is actually pretty heavy on the logistics. Um, to, to a degree that honestly surprised me. A little space here. This and we just need one more square somewhere. Now I'm thinking of all the games I haven't played in forever. <clears throat> and I think that means we can put in some more bakeries. It also makes sense that we might need more um, melt as well. Man, unemployment is just killing me though. I guess I don't have enough people. <laughs> people are moving in. New game I will recommend British versus Pirates. Met the careers at PAX Unplugged, and they were nice people. Need to encourage more job creators? I'm avoiding it. <laughs> I don't like job creators. I believe they do anything. Alright, I'm just gonna... We are in desperate need of more people. So I'm just... I'm gonna bring in more people, and then we'll see where the logistics fall after we get, like, employed. We get folks employed. Must. Oh, and I was gonna do yeah, I was gonna do a clay mine and stuff as well. A clay mine. Uh, 
is obnoxious. These weird twisty roads of theirs are not helping me. mine here. The ceramics workshops can be built on rough terrain. You can also just drag and drop those. You only have a, a storm I should see you tomorrow. Okay, cool. Good to see you, Worst Elephant. Yeah, building, I'll be the first to admit, building night isn't exactly high impact. <laughs> but sometimes it's really nice to play games like this. Um, okay, we seem to have overpacked this place with bread and uh, milk. Let's reduce that a bit so we can fit some pottery in here. Yeah, I think I think I'm running short on pottery now. I might actually need. It might be. These might be one to one. I'm not sure. I have to admit, this looks fun. If you're big into logistics. Like, if, if logistics is your jam, then yes, definitely. Because that's like, that's like the whole deal here, is working out the logistics of this stuff. Oh man, really hard to cram stuff into this area. I'm gonna do that, and then we'll put down like, Two more ceramics workshops over here, and hopefully that'll work stuff out. If you smoke pure Factoria. Yeah, I seem to be having trouble producing enough clay to run all of these workshops. So they may be, they may be on a one-to-one -one ratio is the thing. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna I'm just gonna assume it is from this point on. Really ugly area, but all right. Well, some people are, are at least fully. Uh... Fully stocked. <clears throat> Actually, committing crimes is really easy. It's not getting caught that raises the difficulty. I'm so glad I read that into the record. I'm so glad I said all that out loud. Still have unemployment issues. I did crime. Before. Reminds you very strongly of Pharaoh, definitely. Because um, tossing your eye, I don't know if you saw earlier, but the the distribution of goods, you actually you actually lay down checkpoints for agents that move along the streets and supply supply your people with stuff. So. Um, should I try building a villa or two or several? I wonder. Path guiding looks great. It's interesting that it's all manual here. I like that. I like I like working with it, but at the same time, anytime you change anything with your city layout, it's like you need to lay down new paths. So it seems like it's almost designed for you, for you to plan out an entire neighborhood at once, like the full area covered by a market, and then, and then just fill it in and not touch it anymore. At this point, I should probably stop talking about crimes. That's a good idea. Probably advisable. Various other India attempts at the impression style city builders haven't really hit the right note. 
you know, at the same time, this is a different sort of game because it's also very concerned with supply chains and the logistics of them. Like you have you have caravans specifically for moving goods from from one warehouse to another. And apparently I have an overabundance of goods that I'm just not distributing. I wonder, actually, I wonder if these... No, it's not the warehouses that need more people. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're still running a pottery deficit. And this area over here is really rocky, so it's hard to put up more stuff there. Um, I want to try building a new section of the city for rich assholes. Uh, let's see here. So like if I build like a standard market over, over here, let's say. Okay, so they can move, they can move dates and fish. So let's try building a villa. oh, okay, hi. Right, what do you need? Dates and fish, that's pretty simple, okay. So let me build a couple of these. All right, so next step, we'll build, I don't actually want it there. Actually, I don't actually want this in the vicinity. So I'll put this here. Okay. We'll run the road out past them. And then we'll do some more irrigation over here. I wish I could get more into city skylines. It's super chill. Yeah, I I thought I would be more into city skylines as well, but it just kind of didn't grab me the way I was expecting it to. All right. All right we'll irrigate this section of desert, uh, and then we need we need two things in this area. We need crop farms. I'm gonna build one here, I think. We'll run a road up to it. And you see it, it makes a little bridge over the uh, irrigation channel. We'll do dates. I think I'm gonna need to irrigate the other, the other side of this place too. Yes, okay, so here we go. So we'll run canals over here. Up here, there we go, nice and green. Whenever I boot up say Skylines, I keep reading the map uh, with meteor strikes and I can't stop. I, yeah, I used to do that in SimCity as well. Couldn't help it. Uh, all right, we need a port, I think. I will show you, I will show you the temples before we uh, before we call it quits on this one. Okay, so I can build a port here. So we'll do that. We will run a road out to it. I guess like so. And I guess we're gonna need another warehouse. I, mean, I hate to put I hate to put a warehouse on farmland, but it's not like I have a whole lot of choice here. I think I'll do that, and I'll actually put another uh, date farm over here. Cause why not, right? Not quite full capacity, but better than nothing. And then. We're gonna need another caravan Sarai. I don't 
want to put that there. Could never make sense of Simile. Simile is an odd one. Simile is definitely an odd one. All right, I'll put this here. Uh, and we will set this up to export fish. And we'll set this one up to import fish. And dates as well. Um, yeah, we'll make sure. Yeah. And then we'll add a dude. Remove fish from here. Oh, here. I do move fish from here to here. That should probably cover it. Okay. So, what do we got? Well, the pair. Okay, so if I want to initiate contact with this city, I'm going to need... Okay. So I guess instead we'll do fishing piers. A whole bunch of them. I was confused. I was using the wrong uh, thing to do. Right, so now, we got, now we're getting fish. All right, um, y'all need to start supplying dates to the people. You go here, and then you go this way. That'll be you. And we'll add a fish seller. Here, here. And so let's see if we can upgrade these incomplete villas to complete villas. All right, so it's not it's not polluted. It's not very pretty either. So maybe we need to Oh, we Oh, dang. We're actually getting uh unemployment or approaching it. Ah, uh, okay. I seem I, I I seem to have choked out a lot of my production because I can't I can't get this bread I, I can't get this wheat to uh, the bakeries. I actually have a thought about that. I think I can fix that. Probably should have been paying more attention to this area over here. We'll just squeeze two bakeries in here. I think. Super Famicom version of SimTown is titled SimCity Junior and was published by Imagineer exclusively in Japan. Oh, that's interesting. I remember seeing SimTown in, um... I remember seeing SimTown in, uh, like, Babbage's on the shelf and being fascinated by it. All right, I think we're going to need to improve our irrigation as well. I saw some dry spots over there. Yeah, that filled it back in. I think that was hurting our milk supply. So, one big thing about this game is that warehouses are extremely limited. So, you're you're gonna have to be pretty on point with your. Uh, That's me and vocals, by the way. You have to be pretty on point with your logistics, which obviously I am not, because I haven't played this game all that much. Um, okay, we actually need to make this area nice. So let's see if we can't improve it a bit with some small gardens. How much of a difference does that make? Point seventy-eight. Wow, Jesus. I 
actually lay down grass. Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. You are broke. You're out of money with the people in your city. You still have faith in your leadership and believe you can get another chance. They put together the last savings to help you. <laughs> Alright, there it goes. Alright, so I got a standard villa, which is part of the requirements for this level. So we've hit the we've hit the correct population level. Um but we need a lot more standard villas. And we're supposed to actually be making making money instead of losing money. So I think I missed the focus on opening up trade routes. Because I need like I need to stockpile uh I need to be making a lot more pottery to supply Uruk and be making money off of them. And bricks too. I have no brick industry, so. We need to go conquer other towns. This does, I haven't gotten to it, but this does have, I think this might have military in it that I haven't gotten there. I haven't gotten to that point yet. I do want to show you something. I'm going to save this. Um, okay. Hopefully... Oh uh, no, I don't have I don't have a save for it. Shoot. It doesn't have military yet? Okay. I remember reading something about it. The one thing I didn't show you tonight is uh, the monument building, which is really cool. When you want to build a monument, you basically lay down like a massive work area. Like the green the, the bright green area in the middle is where your is like the core of your monument and the, the rest of it is like workspace. So you get a whole new interface for it. Um, you have to supply the area with bricks and other materials that are needed. And then the monument has like minimum requirements to complete it, but, so you lay down a, a warehouse for it, but you actually design it yourself. You actually lay down the different floors of it. You place stairs, you place uh, gates and doors. You place uh, decorations like ceramics and uh, fireplaces. So yeah, to build to build a temple, and I believe each, each mission has different requirements for its temple. Like the last mission, they teach you how to build a temple. Uh, it needed like a, a height of three and I think like maybe 60 or 80 parts. So on this, on this map, if you're gonna build a temple, it's much more complicated. You need to go five high. Um, and you need a ton of bricks, but it's not, it's not too hard to get, to get the uh, bricks flowing for stuff. Make lost at JPEG out of columns. Make fireplace then. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I think, I think this should be a pretty good idea of how Nebuchadnezzar runs. Obviously, I, I haven't done a great job of getting this city working, but um, I do have two residential districts. They do have goods, although they can't really get them to people. Um, I showed off agriculture and irrigation. Almost showed off trade, but never quite made it. So, yeah, neat game. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty interested to see how this one's going to go. But yeah, the, the, the main thing right now is the content is a bit thin. Uh, the campaign is just like, absolutely don't have the attention span for this. It's, it's a pretty crunchy builder as opposed to a lot of them. Like even, I feel like even the Anno games don't quite go this crunchy. Because uh, the, Anno, the Anno games, you have, you have supply chains, but you basically just need to build the things that work together near each other and then your warehouses take care of the rest. The rest. This one, you're actually managing each individual warehouse and the supply lines between warehouses and working against like, re like really limited uh, space in them. It's like Wilmot's warehouse in each single one. <laughs> and yeah, this this has the whole um, this has the whole uh, irrigation system to consider. Yeah, Anno is baby fun time compared to this thing, but, but, the mission starts you off very gently, and they're, they're not, they're perhaps not as comprehensive as they need to be, 
Um, but they do give you a chance to kind of ramp up the logistics and figure out the actual proportions of like bread and milk and ceramics and how many buildings you need for this production chain and when you need to move up, so. Wilma's Warehouse is a very dangerous game if you have the specific type of brain worms it appeals to. Yeah, certainly, so. All right, so now we're gonna play something a little bit simpler and a little bit more visceral. We're gonna play Foundation. I had been curious about this game for a while, and then uh, one of you fine folk gifted me this, and I played it for a little bit, and I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Hopefully, I, 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 I built my settlement kind of stupidly. I built all the, like, the utility and industry stuff in the center, and so people kind of had to build their houses around the edges, and I don't think that was the ideal way to do it. But it also has a kind of unique way of uh, dealing with like residential areas. Foundation is cool. It's like, yeah, it is. It's like, to me, it's like a more freeform Settlers. Like I've only played Settlers, I think it's Settler 7, Path to, Path to a Kingdom. And it feels, it feels like halfway between a building game and a board game. Because of like the regions that you have and what you need to do in each of those. And the specific win conditions. Settlers is great. Settlers is really fun. Uh, this game is also still in, er in early access. It's still a bit rough. The next big thing they're planning uh, is, an, is an overhaul to the UI. You're going to see UI is pretty rough in this one. Um, only done hills. Let's try coastal. I don't know anything about that. I know towns organically go for the most part. Government and businesses in the center with residential expanding outwards. With really specific goals. I mean, maybe that's how it's supposed to work here, too, because I've only, like, I've only tried one town so far, so. Okay. So here we are. This, this is the land. Big old procedurally generated map. Um... So we're kind of setting up our own little kingdom. Settler so 7, I usually end up deforesting the entire map. So we need, we need to pick a sec, an area to start with. And they give you a couple options. We could actually start on an island. Which doesn't seem like it'd be a very good idea. Uh, we could start more inland as well. But I think I want to start on the coast. I think we'll start right here. All right. Fuck this game is... All right, so in lieu of an actual tutorial, they do a pretty good job of just giving you quests that kind of show you what you need to do. So we're gonna build a small resource depot, which will be our village center. And I'm gonna put it right here near these other resources. All right, ta-da, we have people now. Uh, let's, okay, speed set to one. Kind of gormless people, but... All right, so next up is the Builder's Workshop. So this is like the construction office from Tropico. And we will want to put that in a similarly centralized location. Uh, and they have all the, all the controls down at the bottom, so... Control and horizontal mouse movement is rotate. So I'll just put this right here. Uh, let me move this. And then I think, hang on, for me, I'm gonna put me, like, over here for now. That's a bunch of tater people you got there? Yeah, seriously. All right. So now, we need to assign a builder. So you can have up to three builders assigned here. We're gonna do one, because these eight people we're starting with are gonna go pretty fast. All right, what you want me to do next? Lumber camp. All right. So the lumber camp. I think I can. I think I can cram it in here without losing. Yeah, without losing too many trees. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. All right. It seems like one builder works on each individual job. 
So as long as you're building one building at a time, there isn't a whole lot of reason to add additional builders. But later, the cool thing about this, so once, once we get a little village up and going, um, we will have uh, multi-component buildings to build. Stuff like uh, the Lord's Manor, um, a, a keep, churches, and those have different modules that you put together, and each module is built individually. So I'm going to speed this up. Because at base speed, this game goes really slowly. There is that. And early on, you're kind of just doing one thing at a time. Alright. Now we, assign, we need to sign a woodcutter. And then I think they'll probably tell me the next thing. Yeah. Okay, so the way resource extraction works is you actually paint development zones. You have zones for extraction, which allow for wood cutting, stone cutting, and berry gathering. Reforestation, if you have a forester, they can plant trees for you. Then we make this builder the king since he's doing all the work. And forbidden land, nobody will walk on the Lord's land. So for extraction, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole area down here. And you are you are literally painting on the land with this. You can you can see how it's laid out. All right. So now we need to produce berries. So now that they've kind of taught us how this stuff works, we can go in here, uh, go to the b b b b gathering hut. That's what I wanted. Stick it right here. Start construction. Dude, go get on it. And take a break. <laughs> One true potato king. So these, these people have really neat little portraits. Like, like old school medieval portraits. And then it lists out their needs, their employment. So once people start doing things, they'll start leveling up in certain jobs. So you kind of want to leave people doing the same things. All right, we'll assign an available villager. And then we'll paint the extraction zone right here. And that should get it going. Don't make anyone king remain an autonomous collective. <laughs> I think technically I am the king. Or the lord, rather. If they have stuff like the royal woods in the game, we ain't getting away with that, yeah. Alright, so now we need to stock our reserves. Uh, we need to build a granary, assign a transporter, and assign berries to the granary. So we will build that... Let's see. Let's have a look here. I will put the granary next door, I think. What did you do to become king? Poor Siren is out there building. You should be king. <laughs> I didn't do anything. So I, I don't think you're king. I think you're a lord. I think, I think the background of this game is that you are a lord chosen to go forth and establish a new colony somewhere. So not only am I aristocracy, I'm also a colonizer. So Yeah, we're... We're not king. Um, there's actually, there are estates in this game. There's labor, there's the kingdom, and the clergy. And we can, later on, we'll get missions for them that earn us uh, reputation, and we can spend that reputation to unlock new stuff. That's basically this game's tech tree, I believe. Yeah, because that's territory. And this game does have a military. Stan, hail Stan. I don't know that guy. I don't know your god. You will when we crusade you. <laughs> I played this one a lot. Like, I, I, I played through, like, the first four missions in Nebuchadnezzar and I enjoyed it. But that was, that was mainly to, like, get ready to stream it for y'all. I started this up, and I played it, like, all night. 
try, trying to work out my first dumb little village. This, I feel like, is really, really accessible. And with how much you can customize in it, you'll, we'll definitely get to the, the Lord's Manor and you'll see what we can do there. And one, once we do, I think it'll make a lot more sense. We were Stan's hairy gaze. Where is my builder? What is he doing? His bone is taking a break. Dude, get to it. I'm on free time looking to fill my needs. I don't care about your needs. I have needs. And they needs you building a granary. Actually, I might not have. No, I got plenty of... Oh, we need stone. Oh, I totally... Okay, I missed that. I'm starting to skip steps here. We'll go ahead and paint the extraction zone for this stone. <clears throat> Siren is a builder. Give him what he needs. Black and white two city builder parts are super fun. Just making such a rad city everyone abandoned. There's a move to mine. Got a floaty cart. Yeah, it's okay. Man, I got tossed in the hell pit for magic points. Come on, buddy, get on with it. We will eventually, like, deforest this whole area, I think. That's what I'm expecting. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, we'll sign Lutrid. They get us some stone. They will get stone uh, for Siren. Siren will finish our granary. We'll sign a transporter. We'll be all set. God needs to toss fireballs sometime. Okay. How did Black and White Two compare to Black and White One? Because remember, Black and White One made a bunch of made a bunch of headlines about the the emergent pet AI and like the. the the revolutionary gameplay and stuff, and then I don't remember hearing anything about Black and White 2. This is a perfect spot to put the Lord's Mansion uh, on, but right on a permanent slant. Yeah. <laughs> Been distracted, so they're pathing where is paths in the... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's how they determine where paths are going to be, by where people walk. Black and white 2 was nicer looking and had better tech. Yeah, we have a weird little path going down this cliff here. Because black and white 1 and 2 fucking sucked. <laughs> Alright, are we there? Are we there? Alright, we need two more stones. Come on, Lutrid. One stone. Yeah, more starting critters to choose from. I only remember the lot. There were, there were three, weren't there? There was a lion, there was a cow, and there was something else. I think I had a cow named Mufistopheles. All right, uh, we'll sign a transporter and we'll set two berries. Okay. So this means that the transporter assigned here will go and gather whatever berries they can from the gathering hut and place them here. All right, so now we need to actually supply our people. So we will build a well, which requires stone. And I'll put it like... All right, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to build the residences up here. So we'll go ahead... We'll put this in a kind of centralized location and then so the where are you here we go the market all right so the market is one of the first kind of um customizable locations so you have a general 
you have a general part that you need to build, the food stall. Um, and you need one food stall for every food stuff that you are going to supply your people with. So we'll go ahead and put this table up here. And then, let's see, I need to make sure I pick stuff that we can actually build. Okay, I don't actually have any planks or anything, so we're gonna go with this for now. We'll just go with the table. Feel bar from the novelty even left because of the stupidity. Lion count ape. Okay, I forgot about the ape. Yep, made by noted liar Peter Molnow. Man, I, I went I went through a, a great deal of disappointment with Peter Molnow games. Um because I, I, I bought into the hype of Black and White 1, and I got it, and I liked it. Let's put this in a centralized location right next to the head. Because I'm imagining that this area up here is going to be residences. So, I'll, like, I'll want, I'll want to make sure all the house th This stuff is near the center of where all the houses and such are going to be. So I'm not going to want to put the well, like, down here or over here. But the way this game is laid out, we're, we're going to have, like, multiple neighborhoods and such. Two had lion, ape, cow, and a wolf. Oh. Was Molno the guy who made the cube clicker? He sure was. You know it. All right, so we built a well. Now we'll get the market done. But the actual people on the level land, the nobles on this land, land. So that's one of the interesting things about this. I don't think I can do it yet. Yeah, I can't do it yet. You don't build houses. Um, houses are a development zone. Uh, when I get through enough quests, I'll get uh, a residential development so zone, and I'll just paint where people are allowed to build their houses. Alright. So, yeah, we'll do berries, and we'll assign a villager. He did goddess too, that game sucks shit. Alright, so we need to assign a job to all your villagers and raise your happiness. Uh, so we are going to want more wood and more stone. And now we wait. So this little number up here is our happiness. And the higher our happiness is, the more likely it is that we'll attract random settlers from elsewhere. Noble houses are part of the residential zone and not their own zone. You'll see. You'll see how this works. We will get there soon enough. Because I think I think right after I get... Uh, I think after this quest, I might be able to place residences. I, I think the next quest will probably be for the Lord's Manor. Alright. The people love me. Alright, and now from the two people who are passing by, two decide to join your village. You'll see how this works. You'll all see. Speaking of seeing, totally forgot about this. Two games came in today. We got Silent Service and Deadly Fucking Towers. So I have to assume you guys would be pretty excited about that. I have six more games in the mail coming across the uh, next week or so. Yes, I, I have a sub game. All right. Um, I could build a sawmill. Go ahead and start doing planks. Here we go. A message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. Lord Manor House and Rustic Church are now available. Here we go. And New Zone Residential is available. All right, so my next... Uh, the Splendor Village is unlocked, the new tier of unlockables. Okay, so our next mission is to promote newcomers. So we need to build a Lord Manor, uh, assign a Great Hall function for a Lord Manor room, and the start of the month, promote a villager to serve. Yes, okay, we will promote Siren first. Fine, Jesus. All right, so here's how, here's how Lord Manors work. 
So we will build the Lord Manor um, up in this general vicinity. So, it gives you the requirements up here. It needs a door, obviously. Uh, and then these, so mandatory parts, it needs, I think it, it might need a core. So you have mandatory and decorative components, right? So the core can be assigned a function, it has a maintenance cost, and these are the resources needed to build it. So I'm going to, that's gonna take a little while. I suppose we can go ahead and work on this and then just lower the priority of it. All right, so the core. So you see all the white dots on there? Those are nodes for attaching other modules to it. I think the small ones are like for decorative only. Um, so let's see, we can put this, we'll put this like here. You can also make it taller or shorter as you want. You make it a squat little thing, you can make it a towering thing, but it does affect the cost. Every couple of ticks up increases the cost. So my manor is gonna look be like that. Um, we need to add a door to it. Our manor must have all the tall. F we'll put a. I'll slap an extension on here. And then we can also slap a tower on here. And a nice tall house. And also, also, ah, it's outside of our territory. I built it too close to the edge. And then I can cram this in here if I want. There we go. A second door in here, even. I think we'll go with that. I think I think that uh, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> you have Tropico Four, nice. All right, there we go. All right, so we will start construction on this. So our one builder is still working. Out. Okay, so here, so we'll assign carpenter there. How much wood do we have? We have a fair bit of wood. Let's see how fast planks come in. This bit super reminds you of Settlers. So I'm going to assign another builder as well to help out Siren because as you can see, each of these modules is built separately. So right now he's actually working on the extension and he's placing the uh, stone for it. But we're gonna need planks for everything and that's going to take a while to get. This, this bit super reminds me of Settlers making your keep. Yeah, I remember that. Making the keep was really fun. Making the keep was super, super fun. So while he's doing that, we can paint uh, development zones. And this shows you the general uh, desirability for these. So they like to live near the Lord's Manor. They like to live near amenities. They like to live in ele nice elevated areas. They don't want to live near workspaces. So we'll go ahead and paint some space here. And then actually, I think we'll go ahead and expand our territory. Or not. Five hundred gold coins, and it'll cost us ten in taxes, and we're our positive income is ten, so that's not gonna work. Half a bottle of whiskey, I'm not even buzzed. That's probably not good. I may not have given them enough space uh, for housing, so it's like the zoning mechanic from City Skylines. Yeah, it kind of is. We have no other available villagers. Um, I might take people... No, we still need stone.
Maybe I should have assigned somebody else a sawmill instead. Do you need to treasure something to hold more money? Yes, and that's one of the functions. So here, this extension can be assigned a function, either Great Hall uh, or Treasury. And I'm going to go ahead and expand the Treasury. So now our maximum instead of 500 is 740. So the Lord's Manor does have utility. And I'll also be able to assign, um, like, the tower and the other extension uh, functions like that. You'll get it. You'll get additional ones to go on. The only ones I've seen so far, there's the Great Hall uh, that you need to upgrade people. There's the Treasury, and there's a, I believe, Bailiff, who can enact certain decrees for you. Put wizards in the tower. I kind of hope there are wizards in this. Honestly, I thought your first... I guess it really is 500. I must not have noticed the first time. I thought your first expansion was cheaper than that, but... Nope. You can build fences if you want to uh, pe set people to specific paths. Um, I think, yeah, we can unlock walls later, which I think are, will be primarily for defense. But also for that, so, um... Oh, yeah. No, you're right. I never even noticed that under, uh, under decoration. Yeah, you can build fences. What Raptor play is for? Ah, I gotcha, okay. Yeah, so you can build fences and wooden gates to get people going where you want them to go. Alright, it's coming along. Uh, okay, so the core is done, so we can assign that the Great Hall function. So envoys will be hosted here, and it allows you to promote villagers to higher status. So, right now it's month three, week two, day two. When it rolls around to the first of next month, we'll get a pop-up allowing us to promote people. And promoting people unlocks new, new things you can do in the town. Mostly if you have massive OCD, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind these little people just wandering wherever they want. The tower is going to require a lot of planks, so that one's going to take a while. There's fish out there. I think, that, I think at the next tier, at the next tier we'll get more, more food production options. See, Tropico has mentioned the best part about Tropico games is the music. Tropico 3 and 4 have excellent soundtracks. They really do. They really do. It's amazing to me how different, like, the first three Tropicos feel, and then how samey all of the Tropicos after that feel. <laughs> like, I think, I think Tropico 1 was built out of the same engine as old uh, Railroad Tycoon. And it's, like, I love the concept, but it's so kludgy to play. Like, because it's actually simulating each person walking around and doing stuff, but, like, not doing it in a very efficient manner. So if you don't have stuff spaced out exactly right, like, people will get, like, tired and go on breaks before they ever make it to their job site. And then T Tropico 2 doesn't even feel like the same game. Yeah, Tropico 2 is suddenly pirates. Suddenly everything is locked to paths. Like, I don't know if you, like, I don't know how many of you actually played Tropico 2, but you have to build everything on roads in that one. And it actually follows, like, foot traffic rules and stuff. And it's really bizarre. Like, of all the Tropicos, like, of all the Tropicos they've ever made, two is the most restrictive. And it's about fucking pirates. It's insane. It's a really weird feeling game, and it just, it just doesn't work very well. Like, a lot of the mechanics in it just don't make any sense. 
And then, yeah, Tropico 3 is where they got the formula right. Because um, Tropico 1, I always thought was really hard to play, and Tropico 3 is extremely accessible. Like, it, it really is like you can just do whatever the hell you want, and your, your island will pretty much succeed. Which made good on that whole concept of being whatever kind of El Presidente you wanted. But then I feel like after that, they just kept playing the same game over and over and over and over and over again. I played 3 and I played 4. Um, I don't even remember if I have 5. But I don't really have any interest in trying it. I have 4 and 6, total playtime 0, yeah. What little I play of 5 felt exactly like 4, yeah. They really, they really need to do something new with it. I think 6 was in a Hubble Monthly. Because it always, it always seems like they say, like, oh, the next one's going to be different. The next one, we're going to we're gonna add some cool stuff and, and, you know, expand it. And it's like they never do. It seems almost like they save that stuff for DLC instead. Like, whatever, whatever innovations they have planned for it end up as, like, pricey DLC. Like, modernized buildings and all kinds of weird, kitschy stuff. I know, I, I think it was Tropico 4 had just like a shit ton of DLC. Okay, we're almost there. We're missing like two planks and then we'll be done. Then we'll be all set. Hey, it's done! They all do after three? Yeah, I'm not surprised. So I could add new... I could add the treasury function, the tower, and the wood extension. But that would also increase our maintenance costs, and we're very barely in the green right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off for now. Main thing is we just need to promote somebody. Uh, I wonder if people. I wonder if there's just not enough space to build anything here. I wonder if that's why they're not doing it. I need, to, I need to get their happiness up. They're not happy that they have nowhere to live, but they're not living in the place where I told them they can live. <laughs> and I don't think there's anywhere else that they want to live. I think we're going to need a... We're going to need a forester camp at some point, but I don't think we need it yet. I want to deforest this area first, so I have more area to work with. I can buy the next hex. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the next hex. Hopefully it won't be a terrible idea. Alright. It is now part of our territory. So now... Now we can paint a, a more... There we go! Yeah, they were just, they were just missing the space. That was, that was the problem. There we go. So now we're getting houses. And now they'll be happy, and now we'll get more people in, and everything will work out. Tropico 3 has 1, Tropico 4 has 11, 5 has 13, and 6 has 6. I, well, 6 didn't come out that long ago, so I have, I have to assume they're still, uh, they're still working on that one. Alright, promotion available. Here we go. Alright. Uh, so for a certain cost, you can promote some of your villagers to higher status. Okay, I don't think I have the status to promote people out of Surf, but I can promote these two newcomers to Surfs. So we will we will get um, we will get our our Builder King set up. Oh, I think we need a church, don't we? That's what it is. Six is twenty nineteen. Yeah, they still got a couple good years of DLC to squeeze out of that. Another promotion available? No. Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. Okay. Alright, we just unlocked a whole bunch more stuff. Alright. There we go. And I can get bailiff's office and wooden keep, which we'll want to do later. Age of Wonders Planetfall is a kick and rad game. Seems the last DLC released for six was December 2020. That was just like, what, like two months ago? <coughs> he plays a socialist space bug people. Sounds good to me. All right, here we go. Housing. 
People are sad, though. So what we really need... Okay, so they want a warehouse so we can start trading for goods. I guess... Really good place to put this. All right. Um. All right. Extraction. All right. We're gonna deforest this section. And I'm gonna build my warehouse around here. I think. So the other big thing now is that we're not producing tools, and tools are a key component for building stuff. So we need to build a warehouse so we can set up a trade route so we can trade for tools. Literally French paladins, the space French are pretty good. They get power armor and mechas. <laughs> that sounds bad. some more space for housing. Um, I could also build... Alright, so we can build some new stuff. Stone masons to produce polished stone. Wheat farms, windmills, and bakeries um, to produce food. Pole hut, iron smelter, and blacksmith. So we can, we can eventually produce our own tools, but we need iron, and I don't think we have iron. Also, capitals, Russian space dwarves, and mech suits. <laughs> we're gonna see what we All right, we need a rustic church. Um, and I'm going to build that right in the middle here. All right, as long as we don't go crazy with this, it should work out. All right, um, we have 10 tools. Do we'll do the simple stuff. There we go. Ah, damn it! You need a bell tower. I don't think I can do this yet. I don't think I can actually do this because I think is the where. Hang on. If the warehouse requires tools to build, no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This is fine. Okay. Uh, let's take you off. And we need a bell tower. Build a really splendor for bell tower. There we go. Alright, start construction on a church. Overlord Oddish is denying Siren's divine right to be a lord. <laughs> All right, we got two new villagers. Good. All right. Um, I will expand potential residences over here. It's gonna get a lot more desirable once this church is built. I know that. That's the edge of our territory. So. Oh, uh, fuck! I want to play through Overlord One and Two again. I played a good chunk of Overlord One. That was a lot of fun. That was a fun game. Evil hassle, pink Pikmin. Pinkman. Uh so I guess we got more people here doing shit. I'm gonna sign another carpenter here. Um we do need getting there the warehouse. I guess we'll build it right here. Don't be so bad. Um, how many people do we have unemployed? Oh, that list is down here. I have one unemployed person. 
I need more of, I wonder. Two is so good from start to finish, you need to play two. It improves the systems in every way. I might do that. I might, I might do that. Because I did enjoy, I did enjoy Overlord 1, but it felt a little thin at times. So I wanted, I, I was wanting something more substantial. And so yeah, if 2, if 2 expands upon that. You have to hear me and say, Wolfie's a lot. <laughs> One thing that's weird about this map, I haven't gotten any envoys yet. Like, I feel like in the in the first game I played, I was getting envoys all the time. But not here. Alright, well, good job. We finished the door. <laughs> we just have a freestanding door. Go get some planks and finish this shit. Alright, we have a new villager. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is the kind of game I could play for hours and hours and hours. I think eventually something like Nebuchadnezzar would start to stress me a bit. But this game... This game I can just... I can just chill with. Do you start as over kid? <laughs> I think this guy's cutting down trees to build himself a house over. Yeah, people are building houses back here. This is nice. This is nice. Ooh. Oh, you're a carpenter. You're just hanging out. The son of the first game's player character. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Getting a lot of joiners. And an even fancier stronghold. Nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Literally Overlord too. All right, warehouse complete. Um, sign an available villager. Okay, so we need to check trade first. Where is it, where is it? Ah, it's this one, okay. So, Northbury will buy, okay. They'll actually buy a lot of the stuff we're making right now. I don't have clothes or bread to unlock these, so yeah, we'll unlock this. Did I just, did I say what I think it did? Ah, oh, we got a free territory unlock. That's cool, okay. I don't think, I, I don't think I was actually supposed to spend my money on this first uh, territory unlock, but. All right, now we can promote people. Oh, uh, we can still only promote people to serfs, though. All right, well, we'll do that. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. I, I think we might need a wooden keep to promote people higher. The original tower is demolished. So you have a cool inverted tower and basically hell. Nice. That sounds really cool. All right. Uh, all right. So we need to start stocking. I need to... Tr I want to trade in... Blanks. The trade interface for this game is very simple. You go to trading resources. Uh, and you can choose buy until inventory reaches value or sell up all above the value. So I'm going to set our... I'm going to set our berry reserves and our plank reserves to 25. And we'll sell anything above that. So the granary and warehouse are basically just, they're, they're similar storage facilities, but just for different kinds of goods. Um, the granary is used for storing resources of type food, raw food, luxurious food, and granary. 
And then warehouse is for resource goods and luxury. So the berries will be traded out of here and the, the planks will be traded out of here. One, once we have a healthier uh, cash flow going, once we make some money off of these trades, we will uh, buy some tools and finish this. I'm rooting for you, Siren. Siren. Siren will get his due, don't worry. Don't you worry none. Many. Okay, we have one more unemployed. The... Alright, I'm gonna sign as another woodcutter. I think people have been using a lot of wood to build their house. Wow! Imagine if your neighbor fucking did this. Imagine, imagine if you built, like, your house here, and then your neighbors built houses here, and then one guy's like, Oh, this looks cozy. I want to live here. I'm going to have a picnic table outside, too. I was going to make the Lord hunt Siren for sport. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see. I can give this wood extension a function. I can name a bailiff who can fulfill various mandates for the village. So let's do that. So, name the bailiff. Alright, so here are bailiff candidates. Esten... Sizzle and Saiva. So let's see. So Esten will make job learning speed increase by 11%. Sizzle uh, will increase job uh, soldier training speed. And Saiva, happiness is less impacted by 11%. I'm going to go with the job training. For Istan. Bailiff, is it available for a new mandate? Select mandate. So now that we have a bailiff, we can also spend gold coins for different effects. We can gain influence with an estate, or we can prospect for minerals. So if we want to get our own our own tool production going, we could always prospect for iron. Okay, my woodcutters cleared this area. That's good. Now you can clear this area. And then eventually... Eventually, we will start reforesting part of this area. Oh, nope, I'm gonna do that. A monk is requ- okay, hang on. A monk is requesting an audience, so finally we get an envoy from somewhere. These noble houses look like fucking barns. These are not noble houses. The only noble here, I think, is me at the moment. Uh, a monk. My lord, the king demands some materials. The clergy wants to renovate some of his churches, but our own workers are in need as well. We need to choose who we want to help. Uh, I can't... Okay. So this is basically what these missions boil down to. A monk or a knight or somebody will show up and say, we need resources. Who gets them? You can choose to assist the king, the clergy, or the people. And it rewards you with influence with that estate to, to unlock new stuff. Unfortunately, he's asking for shit I don't have. So, I'm keeping it all. Unfortunately, that does not impact your standing with them. They will not get mad at you for keeping it. Alright, we're doing pretty good on monies. So, I am going... We're going to go ahead and start importing tools. But just a few. We will buy tools... We'll keep like five tools in reserve. Because I had a real problem with this last time. <clears throat> um, where I wanted to set, I think I, I set the tool quota at 10. But these idiots just like devour tools. And it pretty much broke our treasury. So. A monk had uh, a miter and not the tonsor. They're not a monk at all. <laughs> I should have consulted with you first, Ron. Clear, clearly, your uh, your experience in this field Should not be top. All right, do we have unemployed people? We have two unemployed people. That will never stand. Um, woodcutters are maxed. We can add another person to the sawmill. Oh, we got somebody else coming in. 
Uh, I'll add another forager, since those are our trade goods. And then I might start keeping people, because I want to I wanna set up some farming, too. This whole religion is a farce. Big church is dirty. Actually, do I have anything else I can do with the estates right now? No, not right, not right now. Not right now. The main thing is we need to finish our rustic little church. It'll help the people's happiness a lot, because I think the main thing impacting them right now is that they're not... Is that they're not getting, uh, they, they can't worship. We need somewhere to dump extra kids from the nobility, unless you want to start a war and get a meat grinder going. <laughs> Don't be filthy, naughty, bad bishop. We done? Did you did it? No, I need one, I need one tool. One tool. You have one job. There we go. You got me some tools. That's the ticket. All right, this is good. This is actually going way better than last time. Like, my finances are actually in, in good shape. So we can actually build the, the stuff that I want to build. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, can I build... Nah, I can't build fishermen yet. I would really like that. I can build a sheep statue. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. The church knows your dedication to God and thus holds you in higher regard. God is why we're all here. All right, we got 10 clergyness. Splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Cool, okay. <laughs> uh, I can get additional parts for the rustic church. That's always cool. All right, how are we doing? How's it going? All right, we got some more houses going up over here, so people should be pretty happy about this whole deal. Um, what is a wooden keep gonna cost us? All right, the wooden keep provides defense to the village. So it's the same deal as... Uh, that's an interesting road. Then we reinstall Total Warham 1 and 2 and get my wand. Let's go ahead and build the wooden keep. I'm gonna build a coastal keep down here. Because I don't I don't think you can farm very effectively on this land, and that's mainly the thing that I want to do next. Alright, so keep. We have a core. Kind of curse the day the local store starts talking panda licorice. All right, so we'll build you like here. Oh man, each each tick up is another ten planks. We got a lot of planks though. Uh, all right, we need a door. Kind of a dumb place for a door. There we go. I'll build that like that. All right. Um, the wooden top one here. I I need cloth for these. Once we get cloth production going, we can build some uh, some fun stuff. Let's see. Do an extension. B and uh, that's too big. A small porch. I need extension. Oh no, extension A is really big. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Let's do that. Do that, and maybe maybe we'll even do another door over here. How about that? All right. This is going to cost us 196 planks and two tools. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Mm 
Otis is very concerned about Viking Raiders. I just want a really cool looking keep is all. Alright, um, I'm going to assign an additional builder so we can hopefully get this place built faster. And we can watch the little peoples at work. <clears throat> I think maybe after this is done, we might call it a night, because it is getting kind of late. I got a little bit further than this in the town that I built. Um, I also got a bread production chain going. I had a farm, I had, um, I had a windmill, and I had a granary. Or, I, sorry, farm, windmill, and bakery. And so then I set up a second... I, I had to expand the market so I could sell bread, too. It got pretty neat, so... You did not put enough Zazz on that keep because I don't have cloth. Once once I get cloth production going, I can put banners and shit all over everything. And that I'm pretty excited about. I really like this little forest town we're getting up here. I didn't I didn't realize they wouldn't clear cut all the trees, and I really like it. So I might I might build all my little town. Like look at this. This game this game honestly, like as simple as it is, looks really good. And I have to assume it's going to end up looking more polished as it goes through early access. What's up, library man? Is this the kind of game that requires weeks and months of follow through to reap rewards? You know, the kind of game that sucks you in that isn't worth it after you... No, no. I've, I've been playing this for less than an hour, and I've already got a neat little village going. It's, it's, it's basically like full-on sandbox. Like, you play until, un, until you're satisfied with the settlement you built. Definitely a game lacking in Zazz. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this game has a lot of potential. It's still in early access. Um, they're still adding stuff to it. The The UI needs to be revamped. It's very basic at this point. And I think, I think they're planning some other progression systems for it as well. So I think there's still quite a bit to come for this one. But right now, it, it's a pretty satisfying builder. I like it because it's so low impact. Like, as long as you're keeping an eye on your money and your resources, like, you can just kind of do whatever you want. It's, it's kind of like Banished without any of the stress. Like, you're not re I, I don't really see how you could get into a serious failure spiral in this. I don't, I don't even know if people... I guess if people get unhappy enough, they'll leave. But it seems really easy to keep people happy. At least so far. Maybe it, get, maybe it gets harder once you start upgrading them further. We need to choose who you want to help. Deliver fish. I don't have any. Fuck off. I want... Hopefully after this, I get, uh... Like, fishing camps or something. Like, banished if it didn't actively hate you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I think the church needs a massive cross on top of it on top of the steeple. Do I have... Hang on. Because you can edit buildings after you build them. We have a wooden cross, but it's tiny. I mean, I can't put a wooden cross on... Wait, 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 wait. Can I... No, that's it. You just get a little cross. Well, look. I can put another one up here. And then we can put one on the back here, too. So we can... We can... There we go. If they had Gundams, I'm in. You, you want a... Uh, Dyson Sphere Project for that. I've been mollified. <laughs> I love Banish too, dude. I really, really like Banished. Oh, I think we're running out of trees. We need to extract some more. Make sure that we're just... I think it's also time to start talking about reforestation. I'm gonna paint an area in here for reforesting. And we will build a forester camp. Right in the vicinity. Yeah, because we are thoroughly out of planks. I guess we sold some. I'm going to set... Well, I don't think we have to worry about that. I don't think we're going to have any plank reserves. <clears throat> Pope Char the First approves reforest alley. 
<laughs> there we go. There we go. We got we, we got some Jesus. We got more Jesus going on here. I'm a tree, not a doctor, Jim. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's it's starting to come along. Alright, Rustic Rustic Church has been recompleted. The people are insanely happy about it. We have a lot of money. We have a lot of money. This is good. We have a lot of money and our next expansion is free. So yeah, um, we need to get reforestation going. I wanna, I'd, I'd really like, I think we can actually do the wheat, I, I think we can actually do the bread, the bread chain now. I can't do stone mason because I need cloth for that. Give Cyan a raise. I wish I could. I, I actually don't know why I can't promote him. I might need... Yeah, I don't know, actually. It might be after I build the wooden keep. The wooden keep might get me enough prestige to start promoting serfs to commoners or whatever. Start a fishery? I want to start a fishery, but I don't see it on here. That would be the easiest way to start expanding people's uh, diets. But I think I need to hit commoner for that. Hudria, I really need you to finish this shit up. It is imperative that we get started on reforesting. <clears throat> there we go. Griffinetto! Griffinetto is all over this. So, um, add tree type. So, we can actually choose whatever kinds we want. We can actually add them all and make really crazy-ass forests. It's pretty fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little bit of everything. All right, extension A is done. Um, of course, we can turn this stuff into treasury. We can also have dorms for housing uh, soldiers. We could move our great hall to the wooden keep if we wanted, but I like uh, I like my, my manor over here. Just because now I have that Twin Peaks song in my head. <laughs> I'm thinking about using my free expansion on this zone. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't really use it over here. Promotion available. Ah, here we go. All right, I can promote people to commoners now. I could blow all of my money to promote everyone, but they commoners require goods, food, and better housing. So I we don't want to go insane. And I think I think the main thing we want to do is promote people to serfs. But but Siren Siren is a level five builder, so we will definitely promote him. He will be our first commoner. Um, and then we'll promote up all of these serfs for now. So I guess that means we do need... All right, we need to check out... Oh, God! Okay, here we go. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. All right, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, sheep farm, weaver hut, tailor's workshop... Dairy farm, cheese maker, cooperage, hop farm, brewery. He should have the first crack at all promotions and thank you, Siren Dessert. He did! He he built this village. He truly did. Alright, I am in fact going to expand our territory. This way. It's gonna add to our taxes. Um the mineral sources were discovered at, at proximity. Where are they now? Bailiff is available for a new mandate. Really? Mandate. Ah, okay, so you can prospect more mineral deposits if we want. Alright. Alright, the village is expanding very quickly. So... 
Yeah. All right, let's see here. Still, I know, still no fishies. I don't know what you need for that. It's not something... Damn it, you get it from the... Okay. You actually unlock it from the labor estate. So if I can get one influence... All I need is one influence with labor. Because I have 20 serfs now. All I need is one influence from labor and I can get the fisher's hut. Of course, then I, then I need to unlock additional territory. Which is going to be a bit of a thing. How many unemployed folks do we have? A lot. We have a lot. I think we could actually stand a second uh, lumber camp. And I think I'm gonna put it like right in the middle of the forest, so. So let's get that done. Let's cut all, let's clear cut all this and we can get started on farming. Hopefully we bootstrap Siren and the nobility doesn't forget his humble origins. I don't, you know, that's a really good question. I don't know how high you can get people in this. The builders are still building, right? Oh, actually, okay. My builders need another assistant, I think. Siren, Siren need another assistant. Oh shit, I think they're upgrading their houses. I think we're getting higher density housing now. Once we get another form of food, our we're going to we're going to get a lot more cash flow going too. Cuz your initial cash flow comes from the sale of goods from from your gatherers. Bedtime, thanks for the stream. My pleasure, our Dominic. I'm I'm hoping everybody enjoyed tonight. It was a little more low-key than usual, but I do love me some builder games. I they're they're definitely one of my favorite genres. So And we're gonna be back on uh Crystallis tomorrow night. We got a lot of Total Warhammer 2 DLC. I need to get into Total Total Warhammer 2. Uh because someone very, very insanely generously gifted me like everything like the total package and i really need to carve out some time to actually play it because i i love total war games but i have not seriously played a total war game in such a long time okay i need you guys is this oh good this is done all right i'm just gonna we're just gonna go nuts on this we are gonna we're going to prioritize wood and I'm gonna add a transporter and start stocking wood at the warehouse as well. Because I think we're gonna need a centralized location for that. Base game is perfect. I know, yeah? I know. This sounds a little tense for me. Is there a partial worm here where I can check out? I, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do when I start either. Like, if I should go for, like, the total Warhammer experience. Oh, they want bread. Damn it, I need I need one mission that I can do. All right. All right, some people are lacking. Okay, I think... Okay. I think we just need, yeah, we just need more these houses to finish expanding. I think I think people are upset because their houses are in the middle of expansion at the moment. Oh, um, all right, we we just need to extract this entire area. Individual campaigns are long enough that hasn't been a problem. Not have all the DLC. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, it, it, it sounded like a perfectly complete game uh, from the start, so... One of the things I really want as far as DLC goes is the Vampire Coast one, because it's super fun. First army I went with was Vampire Counts. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, actually, now that we're talking about it, I'm really, I'm really thinking maybe I should just install it and start playing. Wouldn't keep. What are we missing? I 
So we just, we actually just need the builders to work on this. I wonder, I wonder if the builders... Ah, okay, the, the builders get pulled to work on people's houses. That's it, and I guess they prioritize people's houses. Mm, I'm okay with that, I guess. I guess I can live with that. I need to spend some money, too. We're filling up. I'm gonna get... Okay. We're gonna prospect for minerals. My dude, that is like a million miles away from us. All right, no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're gonna gain influence within a state. We're gonna gain influence with labor. And then, how much is it gonna cost to expand my territory? Five hundred. Okay, that's not bad. I think what I might actually do, I might institute a second treasury. Um. Ooh, yeah. Boom. All right. In the money. We could do multiplayer night? We could, actually. I mean, if you guys were interested in seeing me play Total Warhammer 2, that's absolutely something we could do. I don't know if I'd be any good at it. Or, yeah, we could we could just play multiplayer. We don't even have to stream it. We could just play multiplayer sometime, if you guys want. Three Kingdoms did sound really cool. I was actually thinking about picking up Three Kingdoms before I got Total Warhammer 2. But, obviously, I want to focus on that one. Tabletop Skaven Army murdered faces. <laughs> Had a vermin lord and that guy's a fucking beast. By the way, chat, I don't know when I'm actually going to stop playing this game. I'm enjoying this entirely too much to stop. Like, I'm really pleased with how this town is going, and, like, there's, there's more and more stuff that I want to do, so. Multiplayer night where you run battle royales and no one keep track of Blade well anything. <laughs> I wonder if there's any other good places for residences. No, people seem pretty satisfied with these areas. I'll expand this a bit in case somebody wants to... Did somebody just... Oh no, I accidentally painted this all the way down to the water. <laughs> Please don't build your houses down there. Please do not. That would be highly inadvisable. Feet currently aren't cold, so you can handle them here. Honestly, I promise you can't be as bad as me. I used I used to be good at Total War. I beat a I beat a campaign of the original Shogun. Um Alright, I'm just gonna promote these this folks to surf until we get more uh I'll I'll promote level promote you. But I shouldn't go too hard on that because I think Yeah. I don't want to impact my happiness by getting a bunch of high-class people who are going to bitch about everything. Yeah, I, I beat a campaign of Shogun 1. I beat a campaign of Rome 1. I couldn't get into the original Medieval. And then I think the last one I tried to play was maybe Medieval 2. No, the last one I tried to play it was Shogun 2. And that was recent. And for some reason, I just wasn't getting the hang of it. So, I think, I think Total Warhammer 2 might be a good place for me to jump back in. Rome Total War is still kind of your favorite of the ones you played. The first one, yeah. That was... I feel like Rome Rome 1 was when was when they, fir when they first got the series feeling really user-friendly. Because Shogun... You know, Shogun 1 was like a prototype. They had the idea, and it was presented really well, but it was, it was a rough game. Um, and then... With the original Medieval, it felt like they expanded the game massively without really without really improving the user experience. But Rome, like, they redid the engine, they redid the interface, they redid a lot of the mechanics, and it, it felt so much better than either of those two games. Fire Arrow Volleys look pretty as hell. Literally in Breach Yourselves and 10-star generals. Skaven used to have a spell called Plague that you cast on a dude and roll a d6. You rolled higher than the strength, the guy died. And the plague would move to another model. So I wiped out 40 of my friend's high elf proof with one spell, and his team rolled his army after that. That sounds rad. 
That sounds great. <sighs> okay. Okay, Siren. Siren is gonna finish this for us. He just needs to get his ass down here and finish the top of this keep and we are done. We will have completed this quest and we can see what the next quest is. Come on, Siren. Come on, buddy. Yes! Excellent. By the way, did I actually send my bailiff out? Yes, he is He is courting the labor right now. Ah, uh, look at it, it's beautiful. A beautiful keep. All right, next item on the docket is we really need to get farming going. I was hoping, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna redo extraction zones real quick. Because I really need these people like clear this area out. And it's kind of driving me insane. Like I specifically want them to clear this area because I want to build, I want to, I want to set up bread production here. And we can also produce more berries back here, which we might need to, because there's quite a few people coming in. In fact, I might, I might try that. Um, hopefully this isn't too insanely far from everything else. It might be, though. Bridge 2 is for an epic. I might, how are we doing on housing? Religion, huh? I might build a second church over here even. Is any of this area actually does, no it's not. Oh, the problem is the market is up here. I can build another market, I suppose. That might, actually that might be a thing to do. I think that's the thing to do. I'm gonna build another residential area way out here. Getting a lot of people in, and I need, I, I think I need to expand production to keep up with it. Are we actually... Supposed to be selling stuff. A monk is approaching the village. Total War Troy is pretty good for once you play. Where's that monk? By the way, when people say they're coming from like far away, they're coming from really far away. Like really, really, really really, 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 really far away. Like, they give you a huge map to play on. Is that the monk? I think that might be the monk. I don't think he's arrived yet. <laughs> okay. My head, my earbuds were warning me that they were running out of power. And now they have. As long as the source switch is over. It did. Okay, I can't hear the game anymore, but that's fine. <laughs> this isn't really the kind of game where you need to hear lots of stuff going on. Um, all right, how many? Monk is requesting an audience. Do I have something that can help with? No, he wants a tool. Keeping it all. Mine. Fuck off. Uh, how many unplayed? Five. Okay.
Mark Trader, sell berries. Um, I'm going to build another church over here. Right by the marketplace. Actually, I shall build it here, right by the road. Um, we will put a door here. And this one... Nah, we can, we can still do a stone belt. belt. Uses it up a bit. That way. And this one can have a little stone extension too. All right, start construction out here. So then, once that's built, I can establish some residences around here, then the folks that are working out here can start living out here, and I can get, uh, can get bread production set up. I have this dim recollection of saying I was going to stop after finishing this keep. Funny. <laughs> Funny that. I guess we also kind of ran out of quests, huh? Don't think it'd be giving me anything else to do, but at the same time, I kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, what's this? A new military mission's available. Send soldiers to help the king. Oh, so this is how military works. Build a keep and assign troops. Oh, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have done Build a keep. <gasps> I'm so stupid. I didn't even realize that you could assign soldiers to it. How many? How many folks are there? Three. Okay. Um, there we go. We we have soldiers now. I wasn't even thinking about that. All right. So I think by the time we get all this stuff working. We should have enough people. I'm curious about this. It's saying 14 villagers have lacked religious services too many times. Is it not the people living around here? Are they not, are they not going to church? Also, you can customize the, the, um, the tone and pitch of the bells. Like, faithful attendance is not going anywhere. All right, um... I'm the serfs. My bailiff is unhappy, I wonder why. No, we can't have that. we we'll promote him. Grab the Tomb King's DLC, I must be mummies. The more you guys talk about it, the more I really want to install it and get going. Why are we getting a lot of stone? Hyrule, what's wrong, buddy? What's happening? Are you sad I'm not playing Zelda? <laughs> Should I be playing Zelda? Thank you. Yeah, it's coming along pretty nicely. This is this is my second ever village in this. My first village did not turn out very good, uh, but this one's turning out a lot better. Uh, okay, I need to. This area for residential development. You can you can live around the church. It's fine. I think once I think once the church is built, it'll be a lot more uh, Zelda field. I think it'll be a lot more desirable. Losing money on... What am I losing money on? Could be buying tools, maybe? Hang on. 
No, trade is active, but what is it in the village that's costing? Oh, maybe it's the soldiers. Oh, it might be the soldiers, actually. Well, okay, we'll, we'll see how the cash flow goes. We have, we have savings. Yes, soldier boy, tell him. Tell me where my fucking money's going. Okay, it seems to be leveling off. It might have, it may have actually been the outlay for the tools. I'm not sure. Holy shit, we're getting a lot of new people. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something with all these people. Um, how much does it cost to build a wheat farm? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, I want to build this wheat farm. Because I don't want to, I don't want to build it too close to the residential area. I'm thinking. Oh, those are my soldiers! Oh, look at them! They're cute. I'm working. I'm preparing to work. Also, like co-locating inside of each other. It's really creepy. You need to stop that. I didn't teach them that. Actually, really good on wood right now. Like really, really, really good. And tell them to extract from this area. I'm not sure it's gonna happen. Figure that out. I'm not beginning to reforest. the problem with building stuff so far away from everything else. Oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah, church capacity is 20. I have completely... Okay, villagers leaving due to happy... Who's leaving? Who are you? Better not be somebody. Who is that? Name and shame. I want a good Dynasty Warriors game. I want it themed after, uh... Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Got Expander Church? I think it's- I think it's only the core. I think only the core matters. So... Yeah, getting getting this new one built is a pretty high priority. I need to get this thing built stat. We're missing three games. Okay. <laughs> there's just there's some like there's some acronyms now that have so many uses, it's hard to keep track. Oh my god. So <laughs> the The, the stone extension and the door work. So people are going to church in there while the main building is still under construction. Oh god, we're running out of berries. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is no good. Okay, we, we seriously need more food going. Um, I'm gonna build, actually... I'm gonna build a new builder's workshop over here. We seem to be getting into dire straits here. I need to build a lot of things. I have the money and the resources to build things. But I don't really... Oh, right. It's instant. Okay. Um, all right. People get to work. Build shit. So that's going to be that. Yeah. 
I want to get I want to get bread production going. I also don't necessarily know if having more builders helps because it seems like each one, each job is assigned to like one person. It might help. I don't know. Just, I'm getting a constant influx of people. I oh did I get the thing? Oh did my bailiff finish what he was doing? Yes, I did. All right, push your side. Do it. Um, parts for the builders. So that's getting good. God, look at all these little people running around. It's great. Cool. So I could build fishing huts, but I need to spend the money to expand into this area, which is, you know what? I think that's probably a good idea. I think we're probably, I'm gonna do one thing though. I'm gonna save first. Save. We never named the village. I just realized we never named the village. Where's my... Where's my... I need to name it village. <laughs> my village. Okay, here it is. What the hell did we name this place? Um... Arcadia is such a nice name, I'm going with that. Arcadia is such a lovely name. Wow. Wow, an actual good suggestion from chat. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can expand our territory. Ooh, that's going to add 50 to our taxes. Fuck. Like, what's going on here? I might be expanding too fast. Let's hold off on that until I get bread going, because I think I can make a lot of money off of bread. And I can't export it to them, unfortunately. But once we get bread and clothes going, I think we'll be okay. I don't actually have any. I don't think I can. I don't think I can build fisheries along there. <laughs> People would just be happier and build some damn houses around here. It'd be a much better fit. Okay, we're getting there. Bring the tools. It's gonna get done. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm actually gonna keep a higher a higher tool quotient here. Because it sucks waiting on five tools at a time. Arcadia, where all the Street Fighter machines are on free play. Uh, the promised land, indeed. Alright, we got we got the wheat farm. Um, paint crop field. Big, you're supposed to make. It. We'll make it that big. Um, I think I can pull this off the stretch. I think I think it is going to farm from the All right, so we'll do that. Next up is a windmill. Let me let me let them fill this in real quick. Build the windmill there. Church is done. Um, I guess you. Good. 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 I'm 
little really confused. Like, I've got it set to sell planks, and I don't know why they're not selling. Sell all above the value. Maybe I need to assign... No, I don't have Hmm, good. What level builder is Siren? Oh, that's a good question. Siren... Siren left. Siren was the person who left. Now we're losing tons of money. The fuck did you do? Mm -hmm. I think it might have actually been because I promoted him to commoner. He had higher requirements for his happiness, and he wasn't getting them fulfilled, so he left. That would be my guess. I think I think he got pissed and left. Yeah. Oh well, I guess that's enough foundation for that. I really should stop. I really should stop. I wanted to get this bread production line going first, but yeah, I think it's... I've been streaming for, yeah, over four hours now, so. And also, my, my economy's falling apart, so yeah. Good place to stop. Yeah, it, well, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting him to be that, to, to get that upset that he would leave. Like, I thought... I thought the promotion would do a lot to help. I thought we could watch The Journey of Siren. Yeah. Unfortunately not. So. But, you know, we, we have, we have a, a burgeoning village. A healthy burgeoning village. I think once we get more foodstuffs and goods in there. We <laughs> fucking forget all high and flutin. He's a traitor. We'll send our soldiers after him, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed our evening of uh, charming, relaxing builders. Uh, lemon cake is great. Lemon cake is like, like the quintessential chill management game. Even though you're actually running around and doing a lot of stuff. Um, Nebuchadnezzar is good. It's very crunchy. Uh, but it's good if you can learn how to manage the logistics in it. And yeah, foundation is very promising. I'm hoping... They polish it up and give you a bit more, a uh, bit more stuff to do in it. Siren left for Arcadio Hyper Turbo EX Plus Plus and Knuckles. I just kind of zoned out to the click click thump 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 sound. Yeah, that's builders in a nutshell, really. Need to sleep. Got work in the morning. Down for some Total War Warhammer multiplayer stands. I'll let you know when I get started on it. I will let you know when I get going on that. And uh, yeah, hopefully it clicks with me. Yeah, I like foundation a lot. I, I like foundation. I, I think lemon cake is great, but foundation, like just expanding outward from that, from that humble start is something that really, really appeals to me in much the same way the Banished did. And to a lesser extent, the Anno games as well. All right, schedule. Tomorrow night, we are playing Crystallis. Um, I don't know how far we are into that game. I don't know how long it's going to take to beat. I suspect we'll either beat it tomorrow night or on Monday. Um, but we'll see. Pretty excited to get back to that, too. I was really enjoying it. And I've been humming the Overworld theme since, uh, since Wednesday. So I'll be off Sunday. Monday will be another NES night. We'll either be finishing Crystallis or starting up something new. Um, and I guess we'll determine what that is tomorrow night when we see how far we are in Crystallis. Final Fantasy IX on Tuesday and Thursday. NES games Monday and Wednesday. One week from tonight? I don't know. We might do... Might be time to do a multiplayer night. Might be time to play something really indie. I actually have um, a couple games from an indie developer on itch who makes games in the, like, Shadowgate uninvited style. And I've got them, and I really want to play them. So we may, we may do that next Friday. We may do a multiplayer night, like Worms, or, um, what was that other thing? 
something else. Foundation seems like it's built on some pretty solid bedrock. Womp womp. Yeah. Friday is the only question mark. Next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday are NES nights. Tuesday and Thursday are Final Fantasy nights. So you know what's coming. You know, you know what's on the horizon. Week after that, though, Loop Hero. So be on the lookout. All right, let's go find somebody to raid. I have rambled your poor ears off. Definitely need to send you on. Oh, my God. Actually, Monty's playing Lemon Cake. I'm going to send you over there. <clears throat> That's an easy choice. <laughs> you can get more lemon cake. See so, yeah, gang, thanks again so much for coming out. Thanks for spending your Friday evening with me. Thanks for staying up late with me and indulging me while I got entirely too into foundation. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting really great things from that game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow night for more Crystallis. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.